Luke's? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> you will be safe there. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Your move. Oh my. Thousand year flood. The river bursts its banks and rising water covers the land for miles around. Not for a thousand years has the river flooded to such an extent. All right. We've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, so I must apologize in advance for the obscenity you're about to endure. Who's in charge of the pencil case? The ruler. There you what? <laughs> Let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials quickly. <laughs> oh, maybe it'll come here. Okay, more locally to you then. Yeah, I. Oh. Whoops. Thanks, Auto Drive. That was unexpected. Artillery providing cover? Personal guarantee here that you will not regret. Oh my god. That fox just got nailed. of Hoachley of Hoachley was great, and as the sacrifice passed each of the four rooms dedicated to the sun god, the sun disappeared or reappeared in the sky. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if I've ever built this one before. Okay, I guess these guys are immortal. Oop. Oh, 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 perfect. Look at that. I got all of them. That is awesome. <laughs> what? Hey. That was not me. Auto drive now and Oh boy. Who? Whoop. Whoops. Oh. Oh, that was so close. Holy crap. How am I not...
Oh, nice. That was awesome. So far, so good. I haven't died yet. Not going out bad. That pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever, I think. No! Crash it to us now! She's gone! Damn it! You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how you want to play it. This room is in lockdown, but don't worry. I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. That's an excellent idea. When you desperately need all troops available at your side, be sure to lock them in their rooms and force them to use an override that they may not know. We know this. Nope. Get him, Vasco. You were trying to kill me, but I am not technically alive. <laughs> Vasco has the best dialogue. He, yeah, you know, it, it said in underpants. It didn't say unarmed. Come on, guys. Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today we are going to be doing a Sandrock stream. We haven't played this in quite a while. Just give me half a moment here. I was given a key to Sandrock on the Nintendo Switch by Patheon's PR folks. So big thank you to them and to Patheon themselves. I'm just going to get things set up. Oh, what's going on? Oh, okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good once I get the switch showing up. Here we go. Okay, I think we're good. Let me just switch over. No pun intended. And yeah, so uh, we're going to take a look at my time at Sandrock and start a complete new playthrough on the Nintendo Switch and see how that goes. I apologize for what would be a late start on... <clears throat> A standard stream day but this is not a standard stream day so I felt free to uh, you know just start when it was a better time for me and today it happened to work out I'm glad it was closer to 1 o'clock than uh, to 1 30 though so we have a bit more time oh really switch okay fine <laughs> uh, update complete all right that's the one really nice things about Nintendo Switch updates is they do tend to be very fast, at least. So, we'll see how long this takes. Usually the rebooting process seems to take longer than much of anything else. Uh, is it? Oh, here we go. That's weird. It actually showed up on OBS before it showed up in my display software. Okay. Uh, let me just... Okay, good. I needed to check the battery level on the Joy-Cons. It's been a while since I've had that problem where they just weren't charged enough, so fingers crossed that it stays that way for a good while. And that'll actually be one of the benefits of having a slightly shorter stream, is that uh, we should have no problem with battery power in the Joy-Cons. So let's take a look at this. I really enjoyed my time at Sandrock when we first played it when it entered early access. 
and I've been looking forward to the full release. So I'm excited to play this on the Switch and see what happens with it. So this is a beautiful world. I really, 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 really liked my time at Porsche. The story and characters in that one were fantastic. And actually, I think there is still a little bit that we can do in Porsche at some point, if we ever do another playthrough of that. But, uh, you know, there's just something about this, you know, the apocalypse is long past. We're living in the ruins of that world and rebuilding from scratch. And everything is kind of in progress. It's got the archaeological elements. And uh, it just, it's right up my alley. So getting to explore a new chapter of that world is pretty special. The Flying Pigs is a guild of elite fighters, and I miss the rest of it. Okay, let's first take a look at our options. Also, this is quite loud. So let's... <laughs> uh, here. Let's... I'm going to drop that down to maybe 20%. You guys can let me know if it is too low. Maybe 15, actually. There we go. Okay, so what other options do we have here? Game settings. The Yakmo Station cutscenes. I like that they give you the option to just default to skipping if you want. We're not going to, but I like that the option is there. Okay, that's good. Language, yes. Game voice, yes. Um, not seeing an option for subtitles, which is unfortunate. Alright, well. Maybe it just has them by default. Four. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to automatically replace. Spent a little bit of time in character customization. Probably not enormous amounts. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Okay, some of these changes are actually pretty subtle.
think we'll use this as our base. option here. No oh, man. Yeah, I think we're probably not going to do any of these. Change your hair length, you're kidding. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't know you could do that. size wow okay that just looks weird what the heck Hey, Ben, how's it going? Man, the number of options they give you is pretty impressive. How are things going today? It's good to see you. I hope all is well. is Are those the only options? Man they give you so many options and things to adjust for hair color. I can't believe they just don't really give you any beards or anything. Discord went all Halloween with their mascot. I didn't. Uh, I actually, I think I saw something about that. I can't say I really took the time to look at it, though. I was a bit tired when I got up today. Okay. I 
game begins on the first day of summer. How do I change months, though? Oh, um, yeah. summer, autumn, winter. Sure. Once Sandrock is developed a bit, you'll get the chance to build housing in your yard where you can keep animals. Heidi can help you building. The ranch family can sell you animals. We're probably not going to do that, unless there's a really compelling reason why we should. But that's good to know. So what did they do with their mascot? What's going on with it? Sandrock Builder wanted. Oh, I have vague memories of that guy, I think. Isn't he one of the outlaws or something? My time at Sandrock. Oh, that's really cool, Ben. I'll have to have a look later. Oh, who is she again? Howdy. Oh, she looks familiar. Hi there. You must be the new builder. I'm Ian, the other new builder. I just got here a week ago. Nice to meet you. Right, I remember Mian. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. This way. Oh, wow. Controls are a little bit sensitive. It's easy to oversteer significantly. Over here. Howdy there. I'm Yan, president of the Sand Rock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Yada, yada, yada. His voice reminds me of Sam Regal, but I don't think it actually is him. I'll be overseeing you with Mian, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me more as, um, a buddy. That's your, uh, uh, supervisor. This here's Mason. He's retiring, hence, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. Uh, what am I talking about? Anyway. See that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And, well, for other people too, I guess. Uh, well, I am now speechless. Uh, Mason, as the uh, established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Um... Well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I'm on my way out of here. <clears throat> my workshop is yours now. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, and it is certainly those things, but you may also find that the place has a lot of parts. This is coming back to me now. I believe that will suffice. May you bring Telesis to the land. Telesis. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the blue moon. There are only so many more days I'll be able to get my yakmel milk on. Right. You go do that, sir. Well, uh, he always was a bit awkward, mind you. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell y'all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. Yeah, I seem to remember there's something about wood being difficult to acquire here, because there are really no trees to speak of. To start with, there aren't too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's, uh, frowned upon, anyway. But there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. 
Driftwood implies water, sir. Where does this driftwood come from? For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We use it only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap all around here. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your work table. Why don't you try making one for yourselves? You'll be needing it right away anyway. When you're okay. done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But, you know, uh, no rush. <laughs> uh, see you there. <laughs> okay, sounds good. True. It is pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. Hey, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for you. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. All right, fair enough. Whoa. Yeah, the oversteering thing, that's going to be a little bit of an issue, but that's okay. You only get to see it when Discord is loading up. Okay, that works. Hmm. I restart the computer Hang fairly often anyway. Pickings, but at least he did leave you a work table. That should be all you need to make a pick hammer. You know, Sandrock is still well known across all three cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. Um, see, the reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing well for itself. Everybody in the Free Cities knows that. But I didn't hesitate signing that contract. You kind of want to rejuvenate it, right? I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. So let's make a promise. Builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Hmm. Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around. <laughs> Okay, Mian relationship, Yan relationship, experience, save successful, and welcome to Sandrock mission complete. Okay, thick rope. How do we... Nope, that's not how we pick it up. Nope. Nope. Okay. So you have to be pretty close to it. Dilapidated furnace. Stone axe. I need to check the settings if I can. Uh, how do we... Oh, here we go. This overcorrecting thing is going to be a problem. Oh, I don't know if you can adjust it. Okay, well... <laughs> Well, I'll have to see how well I can adjust to it then, I suppose. It's actually honestly starting to make me a little bit dizzy. Okay. One stone, and I've got enough wood, so I just need more stone. If I'm a little bit careful, it's not bad. I think it's just going to be a matter of practice. Okay, I'm going to try to resist the temptation to pick up everything. It's going to be tough, but I think I can do it. Oh, I remember these guys. Yeah, it's it's the big turns that tend to bother me, I think. I'm just gonna Oh, kicking trees can get you some good stuff sometimes. 
Cactus tree, okay. Learned about cactus tree. Nothing else will drop. I don't know that I would necessarily recommend that you go around kicking cacti. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? get stone. What the heck? I can't do that. It must be possible because I've already gotten some stone, so I think I just need some more scrap stuff. Oh, right, the little ant guys. Nope, I need a better axe. Oh, this looks promising, though. There we go. Okay. That did it. Amy on. How are things going, Hammer? It's good to see you. Learned about Yakthorn. Filter bar lets you sort through items more easily. Okay, that's actually really nice. This list shows all the items you can make. Right now there's just one. The numbers on the bottom shows how many you already have, how many you can make, and the amount required by the current task. Okay, so we need one pick hammer. Quality outstanding, item level one, equip effect, tool strength 10, dig radius plus 9%. From work table, stamina consumed three. A special pick hammer that can not only dig for ores in the ruins, but can also be used to turn debris into usable materials. In museum, muse medium exhibit. Okay, so you can actually put that in the museum as well. So I might have to make another one at some point. Nothing can be made under this tag. All right. Okay, workshop rankings. There's not going to be much there. We do have Yan, we have Slack, we have Wang Jr., and we have Mian. Yan is number one at the moment. Okay, similar to uh, Sandrock, or similar to Porsche, rather. There are kind of monthly contest things. So, interesting. Monthly rewards and annual rewards as well. You don't get data disks for the annual rewards, which is interesting. Ooh, okay. Uh, Yan, what's up? Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It is the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, well, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Next, let me tell you about the Recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make do. Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the Recycler to get all kinds of useful items. 
Okay. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open to it on the control panel at the assembly station. Eh, don't worry so much. You'll figure it out. Come back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Bye now. Okay. What do we got here? This Oh, the Commerce Guild store. Okay. So we can buy... What is this? Clay, I assume. Some kind of sand. I can't do much of anything. Oh, wait. There's descriptions. Hang on. Okay. Stone. Dina's. Small stone with a common mix of sand and minerals most often smelted into glass. So, yeah, kind of sand. Was once called Dina's Ore, but the name was changed due to confusion. Paint. Acquired to learn how to make paint. Can be made with niter, yellow lavender, and a blender. And simple bookcase. So those are kind of blueprints and recipes. I'm noticing right away on the Switch there are some load time issues with some serious pop-in, but it actually, I mean, aside from the, you know, the rapid turning on the Joy-Cons, which is a bit much for me, it's going to be a problem later on in the stream, I'm sure. Uh, it actually runs really nicely. You get some good view distances. I think it's just kind of unavoidable because the Switch is not the most powerful of consoles, but it actually looks and runs pretty nice if you're willing to forgive the hardware limitations. So let's have a look at our assembly station here. We can build a recycler. Open a diagram to check what you need to what you need to build this machine and how to get the materials. Okay, so we need a stone trough. We get uh, two of those. I'll get it made on my work table. That's easy enough. And that's going to require 12 stone. I'll whack those stones with my pick hammer. Uh, okay, we're also going to need three wood. Cutting down trees? Forget about it. I can get all the wood I need from wood scrap. And then I'm going to need a couple of grinding saws, which requires two stone two more stones, so that's a total of 14 we're going to need for this sucker. And we're going to need eight Dinas. Uh, no, let's not skip the tutorial. An essential machine that allows the transformation of rubbish into usable ores and materials. So it's got a long list of potential outputs. Okay, so... We need stone troughs. I don't think I've got enough stone to build those. Okay, so we're going to have to go get some stone. But now that we've got a pick hammer, that should be easy enough. What? What? Uh, oh, actually, that is a good source of stone. So we've got level up. getting us some of the Dinas we need as well. Alright, I don't think we've got enough Dinas, but we should have enough stone to make the stone troughs. So let's get those done. Let's 
stone trough plus two. Stone minus 12, experience plus 10. Good. There we go. So now I need the two grinding saws. Oh, you know what? I have enough for at least one of them. Okay, so I just need a bit more Dinas. We can make that happen. Okay, that's one Dinas. Recycler. Quality outstanding. Item level 1. Item effect. Working Q1. Q capacity 10. Fuel consumption 9%. Fuel capacity 0 of 1500. Source from assembly station. An essential machine that allows the transformation of rubbish into usable ores and materials. And that's another medium exhibit in the museum. gave me some of the materials I would have needed. Okay, uh, how do we... Here we go. Recycler. Let's get this placed. We're gonna put that down. Come on. Right th uh, there. 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 In the working queue, you can manage what you're building. This is how long it will take to finish making all of those items. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Quantity two. This is your fuel meter. You can check how much fuel you have and add more if you need to. Which means I'm probably going to need to know how I actually acquire fuel. When you add fuel, you can use choose what kind of fuel you want to use. Some kinds of fuel last longer than others. stones and wood. What? Oh. Okay. There we go. Oh, it is going. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, let's go talk to Yan. I think I'm getting used to it. The sudden turns... Maybe the really... You know what? No. Actually, I think I'm getting used to it. It's, it's not as bad as I thought. It's pretty doable. I think it's when it kind of really whips around quickly, it's messing with my head a little bit. But I'm also, I'm not feeling 100% today. That could also be a factor. I don't know that it's necessarily going to be a problem for everybody who plays this. Hey, All right, Mr. Yan. <laughs> no, no need to show me the recycler. 
I'm sure it's fine. You have a builder's license, right? Besides, what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn our whole town to the ground? <laughs> Great. The main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely uh, not ask me anything related to building whatsoever. Yes, I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. Thank you, Yan. That's so incredibly helpful of you. So, now you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder. Why don't you mosey on over to City Hall and register your workshop? Normally, the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda's taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. All right, where's the mayor? Oh, you hadn't heard? She's off trying to plant things in the Eufaula Desert. <laughs> Didn't no one ever tell her plants need dirt to grow? <sighs> Say, she's been gone for a while. I sure hope she's still alive. <laughs> wow, aren't you a ray of sunshine, sir? Oh, uh, by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away. <laughs> but uh, why would I do that when I could just uh, recycle them? Uh, to you. <laughs> uh, no need to thank me. Consider it a new employee uh, bonus uh, thingy. Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, we can't really do anything there until we're registered, I'm sure. So let's get into this. Hey, Anstara, how's it going? It's good to see you. Oh, Captain, I remember, Captain. How's your day going? I hope all is well. I hope everyone's doing well today. This is a bit of an unusual day for us. Oh, what's happening? Who goes there? Yeah. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were one of Logan's gang. <laughs> Silly me, you look nothing like an outlaw. So he's Captain Perceptive then. So skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know the desert isn't kind to the fragile. I'm doing all right on Stara. I'm a bit overtired, I think. I didn't get as good sleep as I was hoping to last night. It was a bit warm. So um, we'll see how today goes. It might be just as well this is a little bit of a shorter stream. But I'm really enjoying the game so far. It's been fun getting back into this one. Hmm. It is decided. I, the Magnificent Pen, the protector of Sandrock, Five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Sounds good. Splendid. Let's go. You know why I came all the way out here to serve and protect? Because this place builds toughness. If you ain't tough, the desert will chew you up and spit you out. People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now, before we spar, you can go pick a weapon from over there. <laughs> Doesn't matter which. All the same to me. When you're ready, come at me. Okay. Stone spear, stone sword, stone daggers, stone sword, and shield. I think we'll go with the sword. Come, come and attack me. I won't fight back. Let me see what you can do. I'm glad to hear things are going well for you. I am looking forward to getting some more coffee. <laughs> Is that all you've got? Don't wow. tell me you skip leg day. Okay, you can swing a weapon around. <laughs> We're all very proud of you. But can you break through my defense? When anyone takes damage, they also lose toughness points. Break Pen's defense. 
Uh, okay, let's see. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! <laughs> Did I just feel pain? <laughs> Don't you know any other moves? I'm getting bored. I don't, actually. You were the one giving me the lesson, sir. My turn. Stand still. This won't hurt much. I can read you like a book, skinny arms. Enough. I grow weary. Wow. No, I don't think we are meant to. This concludes the segment of my combat course titled Never Mess with Pens. I hope you learned something. <laughs> I sure had fun teaching it. Rude. The first thing I would do if I were you is to go back to your work table and craft a weapon. But that's just me. Farewell, skinny arms. Well, we improved our relationship with him. <laughs> I like that this ma they made this guy kind of a dick. It'll make it fun to take him down a peg later. Yes. Oh, City Hall looks really nice. I like the Why, gardening. Hello there. You must be the builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Life, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. If you're here, well, that means you must have passed Gen's little audition and you're ready to register your workshop. All you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop, and we're all set. Okay, let's see. Call it the Laura shop. That'll do it. If you ever want to change your workshop name again, you can buy a rename card from the City Hall store. You have to buy it? Wow. Okay. Congratulations, Builder. Your workshop is officially open for business in Sandrock. Whenever you're ready, you can start taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. Now, I'm not exactly known around these parts for my arithmetic, but I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old... Lawkeeper Amsdioris just, just advanced. 46 well, months. I'm very disappointed with my Amazon Prime subscription. It will only let me watch episodes 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. Good morning, Gord. AMZ, thank you so much. I appreciate the resub. How are you doing? What's going on? Then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself, too, don't you know? Doing good, excellent. Hmm. I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights, but I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to proper welcome you new builders. Oh, and you must come. It wouldn't be the same without you. See you then. And congratulations again, builder. May you bring Telesis to Sandrock. I love how everybody says Telesis differently. Level up. First day on the job. Mission start. Uh, 
Okay, so first order of business. I know it wants us to go to the Commerce Guild, but I suspect we have to place this in our workshop. Or at least we can place this in our workshop and he's going to carry it around until I do something with it. Or I guess until I change my inventory spot, but that's okay. We're going to go place this. Oh, they've already got the sign installed. So what's everyone up to today? Uh, let's see. Come on. Ah, there we go. Oh, we can check it. Hang on, what's this? Workshop, lore shop. Builder, gourd. Birthday, 16 of winter. Registration date, first day of summer, year one. Working stuff, the usual, yeah. Okay, uh, oh wow, that was an abrupt transition to evening. I remember Burgess. saying emergency come now as well nope I don't think I did I wonder what's the emergency Vivi's tailor shop listen here you lazy mop stick me and my boys <laughs> have had it up there with your excuses where's our oh. lift huh Oh, look, Rocky! Oh, buddy, old pal! Don't you buddy me, pal. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. First it was you had a cold, and then it was your turtle dance. And today I find out you don't even got a turtle. Do you understand how much money I'm losing here? So now, I gotta give you a beatdown. Sorry, pal, but it's a company policy. Oh, uh, uh, wait, no, Rocky, no, look! Well, what I really meant is... And I was bringing in new people to take special care of your commission. Uh, look, here they are. Did we come at a bad time? I think we might have. No, no, you came at the perfect time. Uh, Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Eufala Salvage. And he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. With okay. Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few uh, uh, months or so. But now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands. Uh, help out, uh, right? Can we say no? I'd kind of like to say no. Oh, yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. Did you hear that? Our first big job. That's a lot of pressure. Don't worry, we got this. And we have the Commerce Guild to support us, too. Come on, let's do it. See? They're up for it. Uh, what do you say, uh, buddy pal? All right, Yen. Against my better judgment, I'm going to give you one more chance. Great. Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know, that big-looking ruins right next to the builder's workshop? My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make a lift. Easy peasy for all. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to it. Hey, I'm not your pal. Hmm. But if you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there. Can't miss it. Normally, we charge a weekly fee for access. But here, take a free one-week pass. When you're done, install it for me as well. 
She already drew me up a diagram for the lift. So yeah, you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sigh excuse for a builder here. It's gonna be fun to drive Yan into the ground. Uh, my, uh, back was hurting. Uh-huh. Based on this diagram, we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Looks like we'll need to use a furnace as well. Okay, well, so we need at least one started, furnace. I usually best. like to do two. In fact, I probably should have done two of the recyclers, but that's okay. Let's go, checking out, or speaking of the recyclers, let's check mine. It should be long complete by now. Wooden stick, dregs, wood, and experience. Excellent. Oh, um... Do I need to build? Yeah, furnace. So what do I need for this? I need more quartz and... I need three quartz and a wooden stick. That should actually be pretty easy. Can I do any more stone troughs? I am going to probably build a second furnace. So we're going to spend a little bit of time and we're going to grab some more quartz if possible. I think we got some from this gravel. Oh, whoops. What the heck? That's one quartz, so we'll just break all of this that I can get my hands on. Another quartz. Working stuff, the usual, yeah. Okay. I'm sure I've got enough quartz now for at least one furnace. Pretty certain I don't have enough for both. Check inventory. Here we go. Five. Yeah, I need probably three more. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. We're good. Um, three minute warning, though. Three minute warning. We're going to have a break coming up. I'm going to have too much stone to carry. Okay, we're transitioning into a different biome over here. I keep seeing the little leaves drifting down in the air. I'm thinking that they're falling stars. Not quite. Random 
scorpion. Oh, oh. Okay. Seven. One more quartz. We're doing good. Not enough stamina? What? Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, right. I forgot. We have to worry about going to bed on time. And we have daily stamina limits and all kinds of fun stuff. Let's maybe get back to bed. It's all starting to slowly come back to me now. There we go. I need to sleep earlier tonight. Hey, it can't be that bad. We got fully recovered on health and stamina. I mean, well, we weren't low on health, but you know what I mean. Hi there, Builder! Special delivery! Hi! I'm Jasmine. I was delivering your sample newspaper. If you like reading it, just go to the newsstand near City Hall to subscribe. Then you will get each issue in the mail. Probably do that. Oh, hey! I bet it's hard moving to a new place. I know this town like the back of my hand. Let me show you around. I'm a super good tour guide. I know lots of stuff about Sandra. Okay, we will do that. When I get back from the break, I'm going to go make myself some coffee. So if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, this would be a really good time to do that. I'm going to run some clips while the ads are playing, so I'll be back in about three and a half to five minutes or so. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. That's made of wood. It should float. I can't reach that from here. 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 Well, crap. How about a swordfish? I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. So you can just pick up the anchor well, and walk that away. Wasn't so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what was that physics ragdolling? Holy crap. What was that? There you go. Come on, get up, get up. We have a man down here. Keep a lookout. I'll check this way.
Holy crap. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stop everything. They've all gone. <laughs> oh. Damn it. <laughs> there you go. Hang gliding in the rain is my favorite thing. Him I can take out fairly safely because he's already in a hidden spot. No one's likely to find him. That leaves these four that I have to take out. before any of them can sound an alarm. Back. Get back here. Where are you? Warning. Shields are offline. Warning, ship in critical condition. This place. And maybe somebody was experimenting with cannons on the island or something. Whoa! What? 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 It's... Oh. <laughs> Look at the sky! <laughs> Please somebody clip that. Holy please. Yes, please uh. clip that. Oh my god. <laughs> There's something in there. Something horrible. Well. <laughs> I ought to be jealous of the nice. tower. She is more famous than I am. Okay, I am back. I have coffee. All right. And the ongoing saga of the Planescape delivery continues, by the way. It was supposed to be delivered today, but instead they delivered a notice of when and where I can pick it up. <sighs> Never again. When something comes out, I want to get both digitally and physically in the future instead of ordering from Wizards. I'm just going to get the physical from Amazon and I'll get the D&D Beyond directly from them. It, it's like I said the other day, it might be a good deal if you're in the States, but man, anywhere international, forget about it. Okay. Um... Hey, I bet it's hard moving to a new place. I know this town like the back of my hand. Let me show you around. I'm a super good tour guide. I know lots of stuff about Sandrock. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Ben. It's such a pain. Uh, that sounds great. Let's go. Yeah, cool. The Jasmine Cole official Sandrock tour is now beginning. Our first stop will be the Wandering Y Yakimel Ranch. Okay. I seem to remember this tour is actually on the short side. I think there are a few useful things she points out. Hi, 
passengers, please look ahead and notice Mr. Cooper, Mrs. Mabel, and Elsie's house. They have a really big ranch. That means they get milk for everyone. Maybe some other stuff, too. Yep, and it's a pain. Oh, you Fortunately, the post office there. that it's likely to be at is not very far. Every day. Sometimes they even say hi back. But it sounds like... <laughs> I think they sell stuff that you can use to take care of animals here. That might be useful for you, huh? No, not likely. On to the next stop. Please keep your hands and feet inside the imaginary vehicle. Man, she runs so fast. Conserve water. Wow. Yeah, that's right. You got it. You must have done your homework. I give you a sticker, but I don't have any. Conserve water. That's our slogan. If we run out, um, I guess we have to go live somewhere else. But we should say our slogan to help a lot of people remember. This concludes the Mardo's Oasis part of our tour. For our next stop, we will be visiting... Fabulous City Hall! Okay, the tour is longer than I remember it being. I've already been to City Hall, though. I don't know that I really need that to be part of the tour. The first thing you will notice about City Hall is that it's very big. Grown-ups often go into this building and talk a lot. That's what grown-ups tend to do. My mom works here when she isn't going out into the desert. Aunt Heidi also works next door. She builds bridges and upgrades houses and stuff. Say, isn't that the same job as you? What's the difference? Specialization. Oh, by the way, from the station to here is the main street of Sand Rock. RBO store, Grandma Vivi's clothes shop, Mr. Owen's saloon... Um, Mr. Popo's parlor. Yeah, they're all on this street, so you can definitely go shopping here when you have some time. Moving right along. Uh, okay, what are we doing? Oh, the church temple. Okay, where? I don't even remember where the church is in this one. When I think of the Church of the Light, I think of the one in Portia up on top of the mountain. I guess this one, it's kind of up at the top of the city as well, come to think of it. For the next stop on our tour, please bring your attention right over there, where you'll see the beautiful Church of the Light Temple. Most of us come here every Sunday to sing and listen to Minister Matilda tell us not to do bad stuff. My favorite songs are ones about Peach. You should come next time. No. And this is the last stop on the tour. If you follow the path on the right, you'll find the Research Center and the Golden Goose. Um, I think that's it. This place is pretty big. You should look around when you have some downtime. This concludes the very special Jasmine Co. Tour. 
That's enough walking for today. So, what do you think of your new home? It's very nice. Yeah, I think so too. A lot of people don't like this place so much, but you do. So I think that means we can be good friends. Anyway, I'm sure you have lots of things to do. As for me, I need to go to Aunt Katori's Game Center for business. Come join me if you get time. Okay. Save successful. Ah, okay. Ah, in the research center, I remember that. Don't sound so excited, sir. Say, since I've got you, did I ever explain the uh, mission board to you? No. Nope. How does it work? Phew. Uh, all right, then, newbie. Listen up, because I don't want to have to repeat my... The most important commissions that I'll need you to do... Well, don't you worry about that. I'll make that sure sense. you know about those. Rocky's crane lift, for example. But for everything else, there's the commission board inside the guild. Townsfolk post less urgent commissions there. Nevertheless, you should still pick up those right away. Good for you, good for the guild. Okay. Each commission gets a star rating. One star means it's easy. Five stars means it's for pros only. Want to feel the glory and reap the rewards of five star commissions? Well, gotta start at the bottom and build up your workshop equipment and reputation. Since you're a newbie, you can only take one per day. Finish it up quick, then pick up a new commission the next day. As you raise your star rating, you'll be able to take on multiple commissions per day. Good to know. At the end of the year, we here at the guild count up who's been doing what around town and divvy out awards to the top performers. The rewards for taking first place are pretty sweet. Uh, but I wouldn't concern yourself with that so much. I mean, I've never lost. <laughs> well, it sounds like you could use some practice at it then, sir. Well, that about does it. Got everything? Yep, got it. That's good, newbie. You listen to speech as well. I dare say you have middle management written all over you. <laughs> See you around. Wow. Okay, I think they're getting ready for tonight. What time is it? It's 9.21 in the morning, and they're already gathering for tonight's event? Wow. Okay, let's get back over here and actually do some building. Also, we still have this delivery we didn't get to check. Tumbleweed Standard. Vocational vacancy vacated. Logan still at large. In case you forgot, it's almost... Uh, during the Day of Memories Festival, Sandrock is a city of lights, the true sapphire of the desert, and ad placement, this space for rent. It'd be cool if you could place an ad for your workshop there. Letter from Mom. Reply. The total number of answerable letters will be displayed here. You can use a shortcut to quickly access your replies. When a letter is received that you can reply to, an icon will be displayed on the envelope. Every letter has an answering period and cannot be answered after this time. Select the answer to reply. You can also select the reply letter option to delay. Be careful not to pass the answering period. Gord, I miss you. It's hard to believe only a few days have passed since you left for Sandrock. Your father and I are already missing you so much. Even when you were small, you were always wandering away from us. Sometimes I would just... I would just let you walk and see how far you'd go, but I'd always get nervous before you did. So I guess we should have seen this coming. I'm so proud of you, and I know you're going to do great things at your new job. No one else jumped at the chance to take that contract because it will be tough, but you took it anyway. I know you'll be able to bring Talisys to Sandrock. I just wish you'd take better care of yourself a bit better. Those quilts I folded for you are still sitting by the door. Do you want me to mail them to you? The desert gets really cold at night, I've heard. We're so happy you're independent now, but Sandrock can be dangerous, so please don't hesitate to ask us for help. Your father is doing well. He's converting your room into a garden for his bonsai trees. 
<coughs> I think he doesn't want to admit it, but seeing your empty room made him kind of sad. He says you'll, he'll move the trees out and let you back in any time, so I hope you're not offended. Anyway, we've sent you some money for quilts. Let us know when you're settled in, and remember to take care of yourself. Love you lots, Ma. Day two, summer year one. Okay. Everything's horrible, send help. Yeah, mail me those quilts. Forget about the quilts, Ma. Everything's fine, don't worry about me. Um, mail me those quilts. You were right, I didn't realize it would get quite this cold at night. Everything's fine, don't worry about me. I've registered my workshop already and even named it. I'm looking forward to really getting into my commissions. We should probably admit that Mom was right. We'll do this one. From the church. We have an important announcement at tonight's fireside meeting in front of City Hall, 1800. Don't be late now. Light be with you, Matilda. I wonder if we can skip it entirely. Oh, I need a wooden stick. Okay. Well, we have a bit of a time-sensitive thing, so I'm going to work my way up towards... Oh, actually, that works. Ah, oh, no sticks? You're kidding. I probably need to use the recycler to get a wooden stick, so let me just put that in there. Then we're gonna head out to the other scrapyard for the commission. Wood scrap. And while that's working, we'll go check out whatever it was called. Oh, Paradise Lost, right, okay. Hi, you're the new builder. I'm unsure. Second or third in command in the Civil Corps. I'm not really sure. Well, you are We keep unsure. the peace around here because if we didn't, things would be a lot less peaceful. Sheriff told me I have to watch this door and make sure no crazy robots get out of the Paradise Lost hazardous ruins here behind me. Paradise Lost used to be a shopping mall in the old world, but after the day of calamity, all the robots went crazy. Or was it before? I don't know. I was never good at history. Oh, you wanna go in here? I thought you just wanted to chat with me. Well, the lock on this door here is broken, and Justice told me not to let anyone in or out until it's fixed, so sorry. I can fix it. Yeah, probably. The door kind of looks fine to me, but I gotta follow orders. Sheriff Justice has got to get an official commission through the city hall. That's just how it is, I guess. So until Justice does the paperwork, I'm sorry to say I can't help you. Yeah, maybe you'll get a commission soon to fix it, but who knows how long that could be. If I were you, I'd just do other things for a while. I'm sure we'll reopen Paradise Lost when the time is right. I mean, probably. Well, good luck. Hope you're enjoying Sand Rock. Okay. Now, how did we get into the area? Ah, right here. The big open gateway. Always love those. On the shoulders of buried giants. Mechanic. 
mechanical scrap. Nice. Uh, was that it? No, there's got to be more here, right? Is this... No. 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 Okay. Oh, hang on. What's that? Rubber scrap. Need a better tool. Okay. I didn't change my pants yesterday, and I won't change them tomorrow. You do you, sir. Learned about sandberry, plant fiber, and sandberries. Now it's wooden sticks I'm still looking for, right? Yeah. So I think we're gonna have to check that recycler, see if we got something from the wooden scrap that we put in. Or, you know, alternatively, see if we've already run out of fuel. Oh, no, we're good. Hey, we got the wooden stick. Now I'm going to need more because I am doing that second furnace. So let's assemble this. Okay, I need one more quartz and I'm going to need two more sticks. But for now... Get our first furnace down. Nope. Nope. Would you please stop that? Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I've got lots of copper scrap. Let's put this in. We're gonna recycle that. And how do I, shoot, how do I refuel? Ah, this is how, okay. There we go. That should last us a good while. Okay, so construct the crane lift. I might as well start getting some of the stuff that we need for that. I th think the bricks we're going to have to do in the furnace. So what do we need for bricks? Stone and clay hardened by heat for use in simple construction can also be used to upgrade equipment. Okay, and this is going to require fuel as well. So we'll let those work, and I need five more wooden sticks plus thick rope. And if I'm not mistaken, thick rope, we're going to need plant fiber for that, right? I'm just guessing, and that should be at the work table. Oh, you can actually construct wooden sticks? You're kidding me. 
that's actually seriously handy. Okay, so I need more, but that's going to be okay. And I need a thick rope. I actually need the recipe for that. But I, it is plant fiber. That is confirmed. Let's go see how much that costs and how I can start earning some money. Also, it is 14.52, so we are getting on towards the mid-afternoon. We're going to have to be aware of the upcoming meeting soon. Also, the coffee's helping immensely. I'm not finding that the quick motion of the uh, Joy-Cons is bothering me at all anymore, so that's a giant relief. Uh, what is this? Thick rope, we need that. Can't live without it, can you? No, that's true. Paint, feather duster, Copper gear, marble brick, copper wire, a lot of this stuff we're going to need. Marble slab, bronze rivet, gunpowder, desk clock, wooden storage. Oh, man, that's... <laughs> Acquire to learn to make wooden storage can be made with wood, copper bars at a work table. Yeah, okay, it's not worth it because I'm not going to get copper bars for a little while. Simple wooden chair, simple chair, single bed, switchboard, simple bookcase, bench, office chair, working desk, baby's crib, rustic chair, rustic wardrobe, rustic sofa, potted plant, you can buy power stones, condensed power stone, man, this is bringing back so many Porsche memories. These games are fantastic, I really love them. Uh, okay, and I think I can take some of these too. Thin thread, basic leather, thick rope, client Elsie, 10 wooden sticks, oh Amira, I remember Amira, I like doing things for Amira, I'm going to take this one. Okay. So we have a few days for that one. I'm not going to worry about doing it today, but we will get on that. I don't even remember who Amira is, but I remember her portrait, and I remember I liked doing stuff, like liked doing her commissions. Okay, what is it? It's uh, 1538. gather some stuff. Okay, so we've got some wood, we've got some plant fiber. I have three of six thick rope. So basically, I need 16 thick rope if we include the commission we've got. Oh, whoops. There we go. Nope. Ball cactus. Dew and wood. Interesting. Sand grass. Thorn. Eighteen hundred fireside meeting. I like that they give you the reminder. Okay, I'm going to call that. We're going to go to the meeting. Can I tear down that barrel? No? Okay. T 
I want you to do my commission. Tian is such an inspirational leader. You seem to be getting along right as rain here in Sandrock. You and Mian have been such a fine addition to our township. <coughs> I don't think we could have been any more fortunate. On the bright side, you're already you're really needed around here. That is very true. That is very, very true. Good job, security, yes. You seem uh uh let's see. Uh right, okay. Thank you. So long, partner. Okay, six more minutes. Simmer down now, y'all. <clears throat> As many of y'all know, our resident builder, Mason, who has been a hard-working member of our community for many years, will be leaving our flock to seek, shall we say, greener pastures. But today's meeting is not about goodbyes. There'll be plenty of time for that at Mason's retirement party. No, today is a celebration of hellos. Let's give it up for our new builders. Mian and Gord. Thanks, everyone. Very excited to be starting here. I'm going to do my very best to bring Telesis to Sandrock. Care to say a few words? I want to live a carefree life. No, I want to be a great builder. Well said, builder. Couldn't have put it better myself. Everyone, let's be patient with our new builders while they learn the ropes. And builders, don't hesitate to ask any of us for help. We won't be hesitating in putting you all to work. One more time, a big sand rock welcome for our new builders. We have some omelets, courtesy of none other than our very own Owen. Get them while they're still hot. Meeting adjourned. Oh, and remember, conserve water. Conserve water. Okay. Oh, I remember Katori, too. Ah, you're a new builder. Nice to meet you. I'm Katori. I think we'll be working together a lot in the future. She runs the game place, if I remember correctly. I'm trying to turn Sandrock back into the jewel of the desert with my Golden Goose Entertainment Extravaganza Complex. Eh, that's a mouthful. It needs better phrasing. <laughs> anyway, even if you have no idea what I'm talking about, drop by and have some fun. Here, a few tokens to get you started. Hello! So long, partner. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember a lot of the characters, but I do remember Burgess. I remember Katori. I sort of remember that one that I said that I really liked working with. For I, I don't even remember why, but yeah, a few of the characters stand out. I kind of remember Mason, although partially that's because we were introduced to him earlier. Mm-hmm. They never had a fireside meeting to welcome me. Maybe if they had, I wouldn't have become so jaded. I mean, it's possible. All right, let's see how many more thick ropes I can craft. And we'll check on the progress of our machines as well. Copper bars, oh. I can use the recycler to get copper bars. That's interesting. So we've got five of ten bricks. I still need more quartz. What time is it? 2100? I'm going to bash a few rocks. I still have some stamina and a bit of time before I need to get to sleep. And I need some quartz. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Okay, and I need a wooden stick. Let's see if I can craft that. There we go. Second furnace. I don't think I have room to place it side by side over here. So we'll just stick it down right there. Now we want our crane lift, so we should start working on that. So that's going to be eight bricks, five wooden sticks, six thick ropes, four bearings, and five copper sticks. Recycler or processor, both could work. Okay, I need grinding saws as well. I should be able to make those. Three wood. I'll have to gather that. But uh, it is getting a little bit later. I think we'll do that tomorrow. And a partridge in a pear tree. I didn't say it, but I was thinking it. You know, the performance might be a little bit rough on the Switch, but this would be absolutely perfect for if you've got Hello, the Switch undone. It oh. is wonderful to have you here amongst our desert flock. I am Burgess, Chief Safety Inspector of the Sand Rock Chapter of the Church of the Light. It, it would be pretty perfect if you have the Switch undocked and you just want a cozy day. Just a game to relax. This would be so amazing for that. Porsche 2, of course. You're a partridge and Twitch is the pear tree. I mostly put I'm not sure how to respond oasis. to that. <laughs> And if that water level moves even a centimeter, boy, you better believe I'll let everyone and their mother know about it. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. As per the minister's instructions, I have come with a gift. Water, to be more specific, the most precious gift of all. In Sand Rock, Martel's Oasis is pretty much our only reliable source of natural water. We also get some water from the other city-states, but it's expensive. So we need to be really careful and smart about how we divvy it out. Might I bring your attention to the humble little fence propped up around the oasis? It's the town's friendly way of saying, Don't take water out of the oasis all willy-nilly, or cut down the trees for that matter. If you're short on water in your workshop, might I recommend checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew, or just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis? Only because there's one partridge in the pear tree. Ah, uh, that unique. I like that. We'll we'll interpret it that way. Thank you, Ben. Did kids call you burgers? Probably. I'm pretty sure builder machines won't run without water in their water tank. So I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the future. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. See you at the water tower, new pal. The Gift of Water. Mission start. Okay, now we've got this persistent question mark up here that I think we should check out, and then we need to get started on stuff for the day. We've got more stuff we need to recycle. Kids are mean, so probably yes. On the other hand, burgers are amazing. 
So being called burgers is not necessarily an insult. Oh, the research center. Of course, we need to go here. So Burgess is in a cult that meets at the water tower? Yes. They call it the religion of the place, but it is really a cult when you get down to it. A new builder? Why wasn't I informed of this? A data disk? Allow me to explain. Data disks are a type of storage medium made of multiple layers of polycarbonate. While many of them don't contain anything useful, some have curves of data on how the old world built their machines and structures. Now granted, we're not yet technically proficient enough to recreate exact replicas of these relics, but with a builder's help, we can get pretty close. Data disks help me create diagrams for new machines, which you can construct on your assembly station. I keep a collection of diagrams, plus potential future plans, with me at all times. So if you need to build something that's not in your handbook, talk to me. Bring me data disks, and I'll give you new diagrams. Simple enough. Come here when you have more data disks. Sounds good, sir. Yeah, the Church of Light, generally bad news. I like to avoid them when I can. It is. This is when data disks were originally, you know, created. It's just we don't consider them to be artifacts. Well, I guess maybe we're starting to consider them artifacts. Young people probably think of CDs and DVDs and Blu-rays as artifacts. All right, let's check out what we can do. My, oh, we have more mail. Construction Junction. Hey, Builder, welcome to Sandrock. On behalf of my good friend, Mayor Trudy, who couldn't be available to write this letter, I'd like to extend our warmest regards from this neck of the woods. I own the Construction Junction office next to City Hall. If you're thinking of upgrading your workshop, stop in sometime and I'll show you the ropes. That's going to be very important. We're going to have to check with them. Heidi, okay. Hey there, newcomer. Hope you're settling in all right. I think you'll find that unlike certain conditions you encounter in Sandrock, the folks around here can be quite welcoming. I like to get to know pretty much anybody who plans on living here, and that includes you. I'm sure you have questions for me as well. I can tell you all about the way we do things around here. Drop by the Blue Moon Saloon sometime for a glass of Yak Mill milk on the house. Head to the Blue Moon Saloon, Owen. Okay, we have mechanical scrap that's going to be important to get rid of here. So let's do the thing. There we go. Okay, we've got all our bricks. don't have enough Someone stopped to kill to hold a floppy disk and asked, do you know what this is? And the kid Dana said it was a 3D printed save icon. Yep. I've seen other people be confronted by the uh, save icon and instead of identifying it as a th floppy disk, they thought it was a vending machine.
and couldn't figure out why it was associated with saving. It does look like a 3D printed save icon. Well, I mean, it would. You just don't need to 3D print them. Well, actually, I guess you probably would these days. I don't think anybody makes floppy disks anymore. Knowledge points unlocked. Love that. We really don't have a better save icon than that, though. That's true. I mean, you could use, like, um, a USB stick, but even they're kind of going the way of the dodo. And they're less identifiable at a glance. They would just kind of look like a little rectangle. Not so easy to pick out what they're supposed to be. Okay, well, um, what do we have here? Oh, shoot, it, ugh, damn it. I thought I needed the, well, I, I do, I do need the wooden sticks. I have to give them to, what's her name? But, uh, Amira, but I need the wood more, so. Oh, plus I need, looks like, one more wooden stick for this construction anyway. Oh, that was a good one. Well, there's the three wood I need. Oh, wait a minute. Am I building another freaking recycler? I mean, it's probably not a terrible idea, but that's not what I thought I was building. Okay, well, cool. That will actually be a help, but uh, we don't want the recycler, we want the crane lift. There we are. Bricks. I need another wooden stick. Can I make one? No. Okay. Lavender. How's it going, Unquietus, by the way? It's good to see you. I hope all is well. Okay. Need bearings. Wooden sticks, I still need one. Okay, yeah, I, I need lots of everything, basically. Oh, I don't think I've even got the recipe for bearings yet. stick. How the heck am I going to make that? Recycler, processor, and hammer time.
Dregs Old Parts Experience. If you start to run out of backpack space, you can always buy more on the last page. When you have no more space in your bag, items will overflow. I think that's a hint that I'm out of space. Um, spend 10 goals to unlock one backpack slots. There we go. Oh, I got a bearing. That's cool. from Recycler. Okay. I almost think that maybe I should have put down the second Recycler before the second Furnace, but that's all right. Uh, for now, I do have the other Recycler. We can just pop it down over here. gonna need fuel so we'll leave those to process for a while and what else do I need I need copper stick and I need bearings shoot I wish I knew what I needed to uh, process in the recycler to get those but I'm gonna head up here around this area because I think it's probably likely that I'm going to get stuff here that's useful. Like this, for example. Wood scrap and wood. That's good. Sand rice. Learned about sand rice. Need a better tool. Stone scrap. Quality wood scrap. I can't use that. Three minute warning, by the way, guys. Another break coming up in three minutes. So we got some wood from that. That's really good. Learned about ball cactus. I thought we already did that, actually. Oh, you get wood from those two? Amazing. That's lavender, that's not as useful. I can't forget the other commission. We're starting to run low on time for those other 10, what was it, wooden sticks that we needed? Tasks you've been accepted can be seen in the mission list. Yeah, okay, just let me look. I'm good. Sandrock Commission. 
complete the order. Time left one day, 21 hours. So we've still got plenty of time, but yeah. Uh, okay, so we need to get working on that. Okay, so three. Yeah, we need a fair number of those. It's what, 17? So 545. I need to gather materials. Okay, good. about oregano. It makes the best spaghetti sauce. <clears throat> okay, I'm getting real low on stamina here. So let's see what more we can make. some dregs copper bars nice so I need one more bearing and this is out of fuel so let's take a look at that oh ads in progress I'll be back in a few minutes folks gonna leave that live grenade there. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my god. They have my tartan. That's amazing. Hey, Mad. Interesting that they chose this particular tartan of the Clan MacLeod. It's amazing how little I care about the stalkers these days. What the hell was that? Watch out! So fast. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. And he nails the finish. Spider Man does it again. That's the first time in either of these games that I've actually successfully caught the car. That's, I'm impressed at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh no! It's fine. That was very discreet. Master of stealth. Right, now just a bit more. Mm. Let's go to your place. 
Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. Quickly. <laughs> Did you ever build a castle in the air? Here is one. Brought down to earth and fixed for the wonder of ages. I forgot I was building the Taj Mahal. <laughs> Talk to Enoriel Eight Eyes. She is the representative of the Pathfinder Society and can organize custom mercenaries for you to, to fill any role in the party you might happen to want that the main characters in the game do not fulfill. So you can create any custom character you care to uh, try out. Wait, what? Pet? What? Are you... Oh my god. Mega Colossal Eruption. People flee in terror as pyroclastic flows lash the slopes of the volcano and jets of smoke pour into the sky. That's really awesome, because that's right near my new city. So we're not close enough to be terribly affected by it, but we can possibly take advantage of it. And that blew the surprise. Now the raiders know I'm here. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, and I'm saved up here too. The Empire could strike back at any time. Make sure you do a round of target practice before you leave. He said the thing. Good luck, Uthkurt. <laughs> Um, ooh. oh boy, oh, oh, that's, no, no, Uthgird, no. Your warranty coverage has expired or is about to expire. I just commandeered this ship. Political situation in the settled systems. Nope, sorry, sir. I, I get enough of that in real life. I don't need you spamming me in orbit around planets, okay? Let's just not do that. <laughs> How do you like the new shell? It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. Speaking you of... You be careful with that thing. If I want you to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate! Exterminate! Oh my god. And cut that out! Wow. <laughs> yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Unless I get another coughing fit. Which seems pretty likely. <laughs> See? Now we've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke. Brace yourselves. How did the police end up catching the man who was on the run in the bathroom? He stood on a set of scales and gave himself away. Deal a total of 6,500 or more damage? 
What did I just walk into? Well, this is off to a good start. Here, use my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. Ah. Fools, Rota! Talos be with you. What was that, Legget? Nothing. Just saying goodbye. Well, the men will be expecting some kind of speech. Excuse me, your, your head is buried inside the floor. I don't know if you're aware of this. Oh boy. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well... <laughs> ah, there you are. There we go. Time Bomb Club. That's a terrifying weapon name, I gotta say. you please stand still while I murder you? Okay, I am back. Voidum, how's it going? It's good to see you. What's going on? All right, what are we working on? Uh, we need bricks and copper bars. I can make more bricks. I can make one brick. No, Q full. Okay, fine. Yes. Uh, all right, let's maybe try this furnace then. There we go. Oh. Never mind. No. Okay. Uh, ah, okay. We're out of stamina. I'm gonna have to go to sleep. How are things going, Voidum? It's good to see you. I hope all is well. Water tank, no water. Craft. I forgot about the crafting weapons thing. That's okay. So I need water. Isn't there a way to craft water from dew? Like Burgess mentioned something about that. But that's not going to be under equipment. Water. The gift of water, mission complete.
I need mechanical scrap. That's what I need. Get what I can. The wooden scrap is good. That's going to help me with. Oh, oh, that's rubber scrap. I can't do anything with that. Uh, oh, what? The wooden scrap will help with the wooden sticks that I'm trying to make. Who is this? You look familiar. Come on, you old geezer. Help me out. Um. Oh, it's you. Sorry to holler at you. Elsie, old geezer. Oh, <laughs> I must have dozed off. I thought you were my blathering old man Cooper. <sighs> okay. The coffee really helped. I feel so much better. Hey, I don't mean to offend, but uh, the way you handled yourself back there. Say. You ever done much sand fishing yourself? Giving it your all, struggling against nature, never knowing for sure who'll come out on top? Nope. Sand fishing's a good way to get your sand legs. And like I said, no offense, but I reckon you can use some toughening up. I was drinking coffee. Gee, it's judgy. You're a city slicker, ain't ya? Well, don't you be afraid of the great outdoors now, you hear? That's a whole desert out there just <clears throat> waiting to be explored, and all kinds of sandfish just waiting to be caught. Here's some stuff that'll get you started. Don't worry about hitting me back. I got plenty more where this came from. Well, I'd better get gone and find out what happened to my old man before he finds me and talks my dang ear off. So long. Okay. I am not really especially interested in sand fishing at the moment, though it might be a... Oh, copper scrap. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Copper scrap is good. I mean, it's not as good as mechanical scrap. But I will take it. Now, I don't suppose anything's reappeared in here. Oh, yes, it has. Okay. Let's see what I can get from here. More data disks. Mechanical scrap, yay. More mechanical scrap, ugh, okay. And even more mechanical scrap. This is gonna save my bacon. There we go. Man, that really ate my stamina, though. Holy crap. stick okay seventeen minutes or five minutes actually okay got more bricks I can make one wooden stick. Awesome. Uh, all right. This, I'm starting to worry a little bit about this one. How many do we still need? I've got half the order. 
Oh, God. I need so much wood to complete this. I think I need, like, 15 more. Ugh, okay. Like, 15 more wood, not 15 more of the things. But each one seems to take three to make. I wonder if I can... I wonder if I can just buy the wood I need. Let me take a quick look at the store. It's only 10.50 in the morning, so we've got time. No, I can't chop down those bushes. Actually appear to offer wood for sale. That's unfortunate. How about the general store? Barber shop, that's not gonna help. Construction Junction, they might. That's a pretty good bet. Plus, we needed to stop in there anyway. What? Nope. There we go. Hey there. Reckon you got my letter? How's Mason's old shack treating you? If it's not quite what you were expecting, might be a high time to start upgrading. If you've got the goals and the materials, I can set you up with a new building for your workshop, or upgrade something you've already got. Just take a look at that catalog over there on my desk to see what we're working with. Thank you, Heidi. Okay, that's the desk, that's the catalog. Oh, also, I've always got plenty of materials stored around here. If you ever want to trade some of yours for mine, just check out the Construction Junction shop. That's what I was hoping to hear. Thank you so much. That's the gist of it. Here's to a happier home. Okay, that is excellent. Where is the desk? Oh, that's the shop, actually, is more what I'm looking for right now. I've got lots of stone. Shoot, what is this? copper. I don't think she got... Damn it, she doesn't have wood. The one thing I need... Ooh, okay. But it looks like I can sell some stuff. Free up some inventory space. Uh, what's that? Showing descriptions. Oregano, okay. Sandberry. Sand leak. Shoot, I was really hoping I could just buy the wood. Crap, where would I be able to do that? I missed the ability to just, you know, cut down trees. That was so convenient.
build your own home. Your home counts as anything inside your fence. You can expand your territory either by using the sign near your house or from the home customization interface. You can also increase the size of your house. The smallest amount of house you can build is one 5x5 five five block in your yard. When selecting tiles to build more of your house, goals required will be shown in the bottom left corner. If two rooms are connected, a door will automatically appear between them. If two floors are connected, stairs will automatically appear between them as well. If you want to change where doors or stairs are, you'll need to purchase a home editing toolkit. You can add more doors or windows wherever you like. Note each room needs at least one door. When you add a door or window outside, you'll be able to see it in the same place inside. See, Starfield needs to take lessons here from the door placement. Accessories come in two main categories, ceiling and wall. Ceiling accessories can only be hung from the ceiling, wall accessories can only be hung from the wall. Accessories can be rotated, moved, scaled, and recolored, unlike doors and windows, which cannot. The placed buildings or furniture can be operated after being selected. Uh, Alright, how do we... No, 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 showroom. You can go to a showroom tab. Okay, I, I'm not really interested in the showrooms. I want to expand. Uh, yeah, we're not expanding. I don't have that much money. We will be back. So we need a thousand goals in order to expand. Man, that is such a shame that I can't just buy the wood. At least I can't buy the wood from here. I wonder if there is a place. Ugh. General store, maybe? That seems like an unlikely place to find just general wood for sale. If it were going to be anywhere, I would think it'd be Construction Junction. You can get lots of stuff made from wood. Resources. See, they need to tell you what these things are. And when it says show descriptions, it would be nice if it actually showed descriptions. That would be pretty cool. Okay, let's not waste more of the day. I'm going to have to go and see if I can collect lots of wood. And we're already so freaking low on... Oh, man, I don't have the stamina. How are we doing with this commission? We've got to be running out of time. One day and two hours. So we do have a bit of time left. We're not lost yet, but man. If I manage to complete it, I will be cutting it pretty close. No, can't get those. Okay, that's one. Well, I'm having good luck with the wood collection. Just maybe not as good as I would like. Uh, where is... That's wooden stick. Can I hot bar that? How do I hot bar it? Add to quick bar. Ah, uh, oh, 
Okay, yeah, all right, so six. got 14 stamina left so I think I can maybe cut down one or two more probably one let's see if we can find a decent size one back here looks okay Oh, hey, I suddenly have more stamina. Amazing. That was perfectly timed leveling up. I think I might be able to do this. Probably not today, maybe. I need three more. Jareg, how you doing? Give me just a moment and we will do that joke. 13, I need two more, come on. One more. That's not the right stuff. There we go, 15. That should be enough, okay. Let's do a terrible donor, uh, terrible pun or dad joke. How are you doing, Jared? It's good to see you. Where's my joke book? Here we are. Now, I should warn you folks, there's a reason they're called terrible puns and dad jokes. Don't be expecting comedy gold. If I deliver comedy gold, I have failed. Why do you go to bed every night? Because the bed won't come to you. There you go. Doing fine. Excellent. Lurking in space trucking? That sounds awesome. What are you playing? Which game is that? There we go. I have all tab 10. Uh, okay, where's my commission? Where, how, what, uh, track. There we go. Star Sector. It sounds familiar, but I'm not sure how familiar I am with the game. I don't think I played that one. home. Oh, you must be one of the new builders. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Amira. I have the best selection of pottery and decors in town at the ceramic gate. Mason probably sold everything in his workshop when he moved out. So why don't you take this? It's my welcome gift. Hello there. Sandrock Commission. 
Thank you. I hope you didn't have to go too far out of your way for this. Please, your pay. Ugh. Okay, we got it done. Let me just check Steam. The name sounds very familiar. It sounds like something that I would be interested in. I always like my space games. It's called Star Sector. I do not have that one, actually. Interesting. It doesn't look like it's on Steam. Even more interesting. Oh, it's not a steamer anywhere, but it's its own site. They, he, not sure which, want to finish the game before putting it there. Admirable, and you're not complaining. Okay, that's cool. So, what's the concept of the game, then? I mean, you're doing space trucking, so presumably it's like an open galaxy kind of thing where you fly around and do your own thing. Does that mean you can also, you know, do the bounty hunter thing and all that kind of stuff? Or what's the, what's the deal? Oh, I could have bought wood here. Oh, no, wait, that's not wood. No, that's, that's I believe, copper sticks. Which I also need, come to think of it. Uh, what? I have one. I need five. Okay, so that means I just need one bearing. That'll save me a lot of time. Let me just see if he's got bearings. Now that I'm thinking about it. He does not. Okay. stick. There we go. Okay, I need one more bearing. And I got two more bearings. Yay. Crane lift. Quality perfect. Source assembly station. Uses the mechanical properties of liquid states to generate force for moving workers or materials in large-scale operations. In museum, large exhibit. Install the crane lift. I might as well go and do that. Let's see what happens. That should not require any more of my stamina. So that's a thing we can get done today and knocked out. Sandbox and space sort of. Yeah, bounty hunting, working on the galactic market, aka trucking, ally with a faction and win them wars, exploring, surveying, salvaging, colonizing, making your own faction. It's a lot for 15 bucks. That's exactly my kind of game. I love that stuff. I will have to check that out. Check the quality of your item. I gotta tell you, those two lifts you made are running like a drain. Looks like Yan finally did something right higher in the two of you. Maybe we don't have to move out of Sand Rock after all. Well, now me and my boys can finally get back into the abandoned ruins and get to work. 
but we're still way behind on our mining quota. Say, that gives me an idea. You two like diving, don't you? Sure we do. Ruin diving is what builders do best. Well, that and building. Yes. And I think building. I got another way we can both help each other out. You want to do some digging? Sure. All right, so here's the deal. The abandoned ruins around here are the pride and joy of Eufala Salvage. They hold precious resources and relics from the old world. They're open to anybody who has the same pass you use to access our salvage yard. Pass fees pay for folks like you to rent a jetpack in case you dig yourself in too deep, and a scanner for finding relics easier. Also, sometimes we gotta hire the Civil Corps to go through from time to time to make sure we don't have any, uh, incidents. You builders can use your pick hammers to dig tunnels through the ruins, and also to break up ores and valuables that you can take back to your workshop to make all kinds of cool stuff. Anything's fine as keepers down there, but, uh, I got a little proposition for you. I'm all ears, sir. What's up? Since the lift's been out of commission for so long, me and my boys are gonna have to break our backs to make up for lost time. If you want to sell me some of the ores you find in the next couple of days, I'd pay you top goals. Just something to consider. Well, you enjoy yourselves. Don't mind anything I wouldn't mind. Go. It's mining time. Okay, I can't do anything here much as I would love to break up some of that junk so I'm gonna have to go to bed but it's really cool that we got that done <clears throat> fractalsoftworks.com is the place got a forum with mods and all that too with fan made factions ship and expanded galactic map let me just uh, load that up actually or even better I'm gonna pop that in the discord Softworks, not software. Okay, so I've got that in sandboxy games for later. I will check that out tonight. Thank you very much for the heads up, Jarg. That sounds really awesome. Don't forget to use your accumulated knowledge points. They can be used to improve your knowledge and skills. That is actually a really good point. Here you can see all of your stats. These are your equipment slots. Select a slot to see what other items you have. Select an item to wear it. You can also select holdable tools from your quick bar. Check the left side of the screen to see how your stats have changed. Okay, but what about skills? That's the map. From your social page, you can check on your relationships with the people of Sandrock. From the upper tab, you can filter through friends, acquaintances, strangers, etc. Interacting with people in town, helping them, giving them gifts, etc. will make them like you more. Townsfolk with hearts instead of stars here can be romanced. When you become friends with someone, you'll then be able to ask them to hang out with you. Becoming closer to a sand rocker will unlock more things to do with them, including personal quests. From the preferences page, you can record which gifts each member of town likes and dislikes. From the social network page, you can see which people in town are related to each other, friends or family. From the Relationship Perk tab, you can see what in-game bonuses you gain by being friends with someone. Being friends with everyone will make you a lot stronger. This is the Character page. Every time you meet a new person in Sandrock, their portrait will become available here. Okay. Oh, so it looks like Mian and Amira are both romanceable. So is Elsie, and Heidi, and Katori. Oh, this is going to be one of those games where it's difficult to choose who you want to romance, if anybody, isn't it? 
Amira has an artist's soul. She enjoyed sculptures and paintings as a child, and as a result, she became interested in pottery and began to make her own ceramics. Her works are gradually becoming more known in other places outside of Sandrock. <clears throat> I think I've suggested it before in the past, actually, but if I recall, that was just before a few really nice and big games came out, so it might have just been forgotten. Probably. That's very, very likely. Uh, okay, we know basically nothing about Amira so far. <sighs> Would you... There we go. Okay, so she's buddies with... Who was that one? Heidi, I believe. But she's a relative stranger to me. Okay. But we're still looking for skills. There's the calendar. What's this blue thing? Oh, the you fall a salvage co pass expires. Okay. I like that they note that. Knowledge points come in four categories. Simply playing the game will earn you knowledge experience in certain categories based on how you play. Once you have enough experience, you can spend the points here. Stamina knowledge. Gathering. Level 0 of 3. Level 1, stamina points max plus 5%. Level 2, uh, plus another 5%. Level 3, sleeping before 3 will also give the effects of sleeping well. Oh, that's handy. You can see how many knowledge points you have available to spend. Select a knowledge to see what it does. Add points to a knowledge to gain its bonuses. As you spend more knowledge points in a category, the locked ones will begin to unlock. Add points to a knowledge, then click confirm to spend those points. If you want to reset all your knowledge points, visit Fang and ask for an acupuncture section. Okay. Stamina knowledge is good. Basic stone knowledge is good. Basic wood knowledge is good. Basic gathering knowledge is good. Experience gained from logging and kicking trees. I don't think you'd do much of that in this game. Kicking trees, maybe. But I think we're going to go with stamina. Uh, can I... Yeah. We're going to max that out. Maximum stamina. Okay. Oh, no. Hang on. There we go. So we've got other types of knowledge as well. Yard knowledge. Max stat increase from furniture. Increased by 10%. Mass production knowledge. Gain 10% more experience from making items on the work table. Learner knowledge. Gain 10% more experience when constructing things on the assembly station. I'm going to take that. There we go. How does it run on Switch? Denny, it's, um, it's fun, but there are some issues. I will show you. Uh, just before I run around and go to bed. Uh, there is, like the Switch, it, it's just constrained by its hardware, right? There's some pretty serious pop-in. But once everything is loaded in, it seems to be pretty good. You'll see as I run around here, even stuff that's relatively close in, it just, it's going to take a little bit to get in. But it's still really, really fun. Uh, so I would say... If you're looking for the best performance you can possibly get, maybe this is not your platform. But if you're looking for a really good game that you can just play, you know, while you're laying around in bed or on the couch or something like that, and you want the portable experience, this is going to do just fine. It's pretty good. So, you know, definite performance issues that I think are probably... Yeah, maybe if we're lucky, they'll manage to get some uh, optimization patches out. But I suspect with the Switch hardware, 
especially on you know, the basic Switch, not the newer OLED and all that kind of thing, you're probably just looking at uh, this being what it is. But definitely still worth playing. I'm having a good time with it. I wanted to take it for the Switch. Do they advise some patch day one? Not that I've seen so far. Uh, but then I didn't check it. I started playing around, I want to say, 1 o'clock this afternoon, so maybe three hours ago. I don't know if they've released a patch yet today. I didn't see one when I uh, you know, started upstream a little while back. But all in all, it's not bad. I mean, this is a pretty big game with a pretty huge map. I played it on PC when it was just early, early access. So it, it's pretty large. And... You know, as long as you allow for the fact that, yeah, you're playing on a Switch and, yeah, the hardware is kind of limited, then I would say you're definitely going to have a bit of a good time with this. It's pretty nice. Now, if I'm going to do a complete playthrough of it, I think there's a pretty decent chance I would probably end up going back to the PC version just because it is going to have much better performance. But I would say as... You know, a casual game for the Switch goes. You know, really good story, really good, just kind of, you know, live the builder's life and construct the place and all that kind of thing. It's a really good choice. This is really, really nice. Uh, but now my character really does desperately need to go to sleep. He's only got 18 stamina. So let's make sure we get some rest. You specifically want, yeah, if you specifically wanted to take it for the Switch, I think you'll be all right with it. Yes, let's go to sleep. <clears throat> take the crane lift, you fall a salvage. Okay, <clears throat> I probably don't want to do that because I have not yet actually made myself a weapon. Might not be the worst idea in the world to do that. So let's take a look at the requirements for that. I have the Xbox, but I'm going to play Coral Island on that, so I wanted something also on the Switch. Yeah, this is a very good choice then. I'm having a really good time with it, despite the performance issues. It's a really fantastic game. And it's uh, really exciting that it's actually out now instead of just early access. I mean, I had a good time with the early access. I played it a few times on that. I didn't you know, get to the end of it or anything, but I loved my time at Porsche. So I knew what I was getting in for, and it's really, really fun. Okay, so if I want a proper pick hammer, is that... I think that is the same pick hammer I've already got. Uh, let's see. So if I wanted to upgrade... I would need two copper sticks. It looks like two bolts, I guess. I'm not sure what that thing on the end is. I don't remember. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to be ready for that. I think we're just going to have to build something a little more basic. What do we have in the way of weaponry? A stone sword. So I need more stone for that, and it looks like I'm going to have to murder some animals. It looks like I need a couple of horns. Or I could do this. That wouldn't require animal murder, but I would have to get some quartz, I believe that is. Eh, let's give it a try. This is where I get into serious trouble. Hot honey barbecue bumble ant? Wow. I forgot about the animals and how crazy they get. Okay, stone scrap. I don't want to waste all my stamina on that. I want to get into the ruins if I can. Ah, there they are. Okay. So we got some stone scrap, we got some copper scrap. What level am I? Oh, I'm level six. It tells me right on the 
thing there. Okay. Sorry, animal. Ow. Oh. Ow. This is going really, really well. Maybe the axe is better? I don't know that the axe is any better. Also, think I attacked the wrong one. I was trying for the level 6 guy. Learned about Wild Yakmel. I don't think I got any horns. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> uh, there's a level 5 guy. He might be a little less painful. Oh. I... Yeah, I think I accidentally attacked the Alpha. That's going to go well. Uh oh. <laughs> oh crap. Ah. Oh. oh crap. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? Let's take a little bit of a break from this. Thorny jumper? Okay. Uh, do I dare? I'm probably gonna die if I attack even one of the weaker ones in this state. That's not great. Alright. Maybe I don't build the wooden sword. Maybe I go for one of the other things instead. One of the ones that didn't require fighting animals. <laughs> I really need a weapon before I'm going to be able to get those, so I should probably have known better. Uh, where are some of the plants that needed the better... Oh, God, that took out half my stamina, too. Ugh. <laughs> That's great. Hi there, friend. I couldn't help but notice you're doing something illegal. We are not allowed to cut down trees near the town. Sorry, didn't know. Oh, cutting down trees around town can have some seriously negative effects on our environment. Seeing as this is your first offense, I'll let it slide. But if I catch you out here chopping down public trees again, well, I'll have no choice but to fine you to the full extent Sandrock nuisance law allows for. Worse than that, though. Why, if I saw you chopping down trees, I, I, I don't know if I would want to be your friend anymore. I'm sure a lot of people around town would feel the same way. Interesting, okay. But don't you worry. You can find wood scrap out in the desert, buy imported wood from me, even plant your own trees on your own property. See, plenty of ways. So you really have no need to chop these trees down. Okay, really good to know that he's the one that sells wood. Wish I'd known that earlier. Also good to know that I can grow my own trees. That's really good news. That's fantastic. Also, two and a half minute warning. We're going to have ads popping up in about two and a half minutes. I'm going to run some clips while that's on and take a little bit of a break to get up and move around. So, uh... Keep an eye out for that, and that'll be a really good time if you need to get up and grab something. That's all, Builder. Conserve water, and don't chop down these trees. Okay. I had actually meant to kick the trees, but I guess I can't do that when I've got my axe in hand. So let's just kick them instead. That, yeah, that was what I wanted. Cactus spine. There we go. I think it was three of them that I needed, so... There we are. Oh, and I got cactus fruit as well. That's pretty handy. And we've got mail. From Owen. 
Got a job for you if you find it enticing. I need someone to help me with an inventory resupply. Namely, we're out of sand carp. Mason used to sell me fish sometimes since his workshop, now yours, is close to a couple of nice sand pits. So I thought you might be interested as well. You'll need a sand fish trap for this. I've attached a recipe for your work table in case you don't have one already. Cheers, Owen. Thank you. From the church. As you may recall, our old friend Mason will be leaving soon, and we want to wish him happy trails. We're planning to have a real barn burner of a hoedown tomorrow on the Blue Moon stage at 1800 p.m. Don't miss it. May the light find you, Matilda. Do I have to go to that? I really don't care to, but we'll see. Maybe. Okay, let's see if I can make another weapon. And by another, I mean any kind of weapon at all. Stone dagger. Okay, so I need thin thread and I need stone, so we're going to need stone. And I should be able to craft... Uh, I might need some more recipes, actually. Which I will go looking for after the break. So if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, this is a very good time to do it. I'm going to begin that break. I'll be back in about three and a half to five minutes or so. So I'll meet you back here after that. Uh, oh shit. Oxygen. Oh, this might be my first death. Ah, too far. Oh my god, I made it. How many times do I hear that a day? Nope, can't take all of us right before I take all of them. There we go. Spider Man one, robbers zero. <laughs> oh my god, what was that physics rag dulling? Holy crap. It just isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next? A comb? <laughs> okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. How about a Rancor burger? I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. What the? What? What is going on? You don't get a much closer view than this. For added protection, each vehicle is surrounded by aluminum oxynitride glass. So tough, it can stop a 50 caliber bullet. That's a pretty good tidbit to share right at this moment. Oh, shh, what the hell, game? Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, that, nope, that, um,
Good God, what is with this cave? It never stops. Oh, it stopped. Live prey feeder unlocked. Okay, I am back. All right. I need to check the workshop here. Oh, right, yes. I already checked the workshop. I don't have the recipe I need. I need to go see if I can get the recipe that I need. So we'll swing by Yan's place and see what he's got that might aid us here. Hmm. You know, I don't much care for some of the language. That M word you're always calling me is rather offensive where I come from, see? Huh? What, Mopstick? Where are you from, Mopperton? Why, you. We've finished that lift for you. I demand you treat the president of the Commerce Guild with some respect. Uh -huh. Hey, but you who put that there was the new builders. I ain't seen you lift a finger. Uh -huh. Ha. Certainly one in the role of leadership such as yourself, oafish as you may be, can understand the value of good management. Mm -hmm. Difference is, when me and my boys get a job done, I'm right down there with them. Speaking of which, be seeing ya, mopstick. I'm siding with Rocky on that one. Okay. Uh, why is it not showing descriptions? It's very frustrating. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's... wonder here I wonder can I can I save I can oh nope don't load save I'm gonna quit the game and restart it and see if that re-enables the tooltips, the descriptions, because it's very frustrating not being able to see what I'm looking at. I want all the information it can give me. And this will just take a moment. I love this image, too. I love the post-apocalyptic landscape. Nature reclaiming what used to be the ancient world. I love the whole vibe of this series. It's really, really good. Okay, just about there. It's said that parts of the terrain around Sand Rock were once at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, interesting. When you're ready to explore the hazardous ruins, prepare enough stamina and health items for the trip. Good weapons and equipment are also crucial. That's what we're working on right now. Okay. Did this work? Yes. Okay, so stone, Dina's paint, feather duster, copper gear, marble brick, 
copper wire, rubber tube, marble slab, bronze rivets, gunpowder, desk cloak, wooden storage, bronze blade, copper loudspeaker. Ooh. not have the recipes I'm looking for. What the heck? Maybe I'm just looking at things wrong. Oh, is that a basic awning? Seven days after accepting. Client Yan. The villages around Sandrock are in desperate need of development. It would be improper of me as a beacon of presidency to refuse. Bring me some facilities, subordinates. Okay. I hope I can do that one. The hot weather in Sandrock means that a lot of water is needed to keep machines cool. In winter, cooling is not as vital as the water requirement is far lower. It's interesting that they show Sandrock with snow. I wouldn't think it would get that much precipitation. Okay, so you can unlock recipes by building stuff as well. Oh no, this is this is upgrade. Missing diagram, please go to the research center to acquire. Okay, all right. That's interesting. Ah, okay, I do have the recipe for it. Never mind. Thin thread. make 30 of it. Now what do I need for that weapon? I think it was the daggers I was going for. I just need something so that I can actually do stuff. Stone daggers. <laughs> I needed two thin thread. I think we're okay now. So now I just need stone. So we're fine. go. Oh, that gave me five stone. I'm not going to worry about it then. We're just going to bash this to bits and the chances are pretty good. I'll have more than I actually need. Yep, another five stone plus some quartz. I think we're fine. We're okay. I'm not probably going to have enough stamina to go back into the abandoned ruins today, but we'll see what happens. I should at least be able to craft my dagger so that when the opportunity arises, I'm ready for it. Okay, let's build a dagger. Stone daggers, quality outstanding. Attack 23 to 29, attack speed swift. Gain 10% chance to deal an extra point of break damage. Excellent. So now what we need to do is, where's my new dagger? Man, I'm almost out of inventory space again. Uh, I need to add this to the quick bar, so let's put that on number three. And now just for the heck of it, oh, uh, you know what, actually, I was going to go see if we could fight that thing again, but I just realized that was earlier today, 
and yeah, that would be a good way to get myself deaded. Let's not do that. So it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. We were invited to visit the Blue Moon Saloon. Seems like that might not be a terrible idea. Let's do that. Owen, what's up, sir? Blue moon to go. But charging to our deaths is fun? So is charging to victory. I'm just going to put that out there for your consideration. Toy Ferris wheel. Plus one stamina every two seconds lasts for 30 seconds, which means it gives you 15 stamina over time. Honey Avocado. Plus 23 health points every two seconds lasts for 30 seconds. That's actually pretty good. That's got to be, yeah, it's a little on the pricey side. Critical rate plus 8%. Milk steamed egg. That sounds really gross. What the heck? Honey Sambo. Meat bun sounds nice. Barbecue scallop. Ew. Gross. Cilantro meatloaf? Why would you do that to meatloaf? Veggie stir fry. That sounds alright. Summer sand tea. Sounds kind of gritty. Toy pen holder. Alfalfa. Flour. Ooh, soy sauce. That's okay. Sugar. That looks like butter, not sugar. Vinegar, rice. All right, we need to talk to Owen. What's up, sir? Hey, you're one of the new builders. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Owen. I run the Blue Moon Saloon. Are you hungry? I have a couple sample dishes. I know you can work up <laughs> quite an appetite uh, after spending a day in the ruins. Drop by any time. I'll be around. Hey there, Builder. Did you get my letter? Why don't we have a chat over some food and drinks? It, it won't take too long. Sure, I like free food. I've been meaning to catch up with you since you moved in. But I guess you and me, Anne, have been busy with all that's been going on of late. <laughs> As a small token of my appreciation, I'd like to offer you some food and drinks on the house. To a newcomer. Sand rock can be a bit overwhelming, but lucky for you, this old barkeep has been around for just a hair longer than a pan bat's age. Uh, perhaps I can shed some light on any subjects you're still unfamiliar with. Dude, you look 25 at most. What would you like to know about? Uh, the dangers around town. Ah, yes. There is an infamous bandit around here named Logan. He used to be a citizen of our town as well. One day he just went crazy and blew up a building. I guess being out here in the desert makes some people lose their minds. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you have to watch out for some dangerous animals roaming the wilds. <laughs> like the Geeglers. Uh, they're mutated lizards who seem bent on causing us trouble for some reason. Oh, and how could I forget? <laughs> the sandstorms. Our mayor is out in the desert right now, trying to stop the winds from blowing sand over what little greenery we have left. You know, it wasn't always like this. A lot of people have left, and I can't really blame them. Sand Rock might not be the best place for everybody, but there are still people who love this town. And we'll all be sticking around, for better or for worse. What would you like to know about? The Civil Corps. Ah. The Civil Corps here are that thin, dusty line that stands between us and the many threats crawling throughout the Ufala Desert. But they only have two Corps members here, uh, plus <laughs> a cat. As they should. I'm amazed that they're able to keep up with all the security demand. Of course, Pen from the church helps out as well. 
Now the one running the civil corps is a man named Justice. He and I go way back. He's one of the toughest guys around Sandrock these days. But back when we were kids, he was afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> oh boy, how times do change. He's a great guy. And his partner, Unsure, is also very reliable. If you ever run into trouble, you can surely count on them to help you out. What would you like to know about? People in town. Let's see. Where to begin? We're a small town, so pretty much everybody knows everybody else. There's Vivi the tailor, Heidi the architect and engineer, Cooper, Mabel, and Elsie down at the ranch, Katori and her game center, Dr. Fang and his bird. Okay. There's also Arvio and Amira, the sibling duo from Barnarok who moved here not that long ago. Arvio is young, but he runs the general store pretty nicely, all things considered. Amira makes ceramics that are top notch. I think she's even starting to gain some recognition from people outside of Sandrock. You can definitely tell Amira is the older sister. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but okay, I'll take you at your word, sir. She's always the one covering for her brother whenever his youth gets the better of him. Oh. What's also amazing is that she never lets her skills get to her head. She's very down to earth and she... Uh, sorry, maybe I'm talking too much. <laughs> uh, I see he has a little bit of a crush. Really, this town is full of nice people. If there's someone you want to get to know better, ask them to hang out. Make time out of your day to go see them. <laughs> and hey, who doesn't like a nice gift now? I'm sure you'll have plenty of friends in no time. What would you like to know about? I guess we should ask about the Church of the Light. The Church of Light is all about preserving the sense of community and getting rid of dangerous Age of Corruption technology. But the interesting thing about our chapter is that Matilda is extremely lenient when it comes to relics and old tech. Oh, maybe Matilda's not all bad after all. In Sandrock, we're allowed to hold on to some pretty mean stuff. Sometimes they'll even let relic weapons slide. And it's a good thing, too. Uh, life would be much harder out here if we didn't have the means to defend ourselves. Our chapter is pretty unique in that way. Although I heard some chapters near the peripheries take similar stances. The church members are always proactive about helping people in and around Sandrock especially the old folk and the youngins. They've gotten so organized that, as a matter of fact, they actually help handle a lot of administrative type stuff in town. Uh, we'd be up a creek without them. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, creeks have water, don't they? Yes, they do. What would you like to know about? Uh, that's all for now, thanks. <laughs> yep, uh, don't let me talk your ear off. Some things you've just got to experience to understand. Don't worry too much. You'll fit right in. Okay, Owen's a pretty cool guy. Hey, I've been doing all this talking, and I haven't had a bite to eat yet. Uh, maybe you should share your tales as well. <sighs> Today was nice. We gotta do this more often. In any case, let me hit you with a couple takeaway dishes for later. <laughs> Builders can't go hungry, you know? Stop in at the Blue Moon anytime you're out of energy and need a picker-upper. Don't know what to order? Get the special of the day. That's right, we've got a discount on something new every day. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't mean to turn this into an ad spot for the saloon. I'm sure you're busy learning the ropes around here. I'd better get back to it, too. I uh, hope to see you again soon. I'm sure you will, sir. Okay, that was kind of cool. Oh. I don't think I've met her. Newcomer, huh? That's good. We need all the help we can get. I'm Grace. Stop by for a meal at the saloon sometime. I'll do my best to make something edible. Interesting. In her little portrait on the lower left side there, her hair was blonde. Hey there. I heard you're from Highwind, right? I've been there several times. I love, love, love the gliders. See ya.
Okay. Mining time. Take the crane lift you follow to salvage abandoned ruins. World of sand fishing. Make a sand fish trap. Let's see if I can do that. Actually, let's. Uh, I've got that sort of the the high tier commission. I want to see if I can make that. I'm a lot more interested in that than I am in fishing. Ah, okay. So it is on the assembly station. Basic awning. Oh god. Uh, we need four wooden sticks, four copper screws. I need a grinder to make that. It's gonna take copper bars. Rough cloth, which is plant fiber, that's easy. Need a tailoring machine. Oof, okay, it's a good thing I've got some time. What kind of machines can I make here? Oh, it's actually, I'm gonna need to make the machines on here, aren't I? Work table, furnace, drying rack, oh shoot. Oh, where do I get machines? Hang on. Uh, other. Recycle. Work, yeah, yeah, I need new machine recipes. Okay. Let's go back to the store. Let's see what I can find. Oh, actually. I've got data disks. I think what I probably need to go do is go to the research lab. Or the science lab, whatever they call it. this more drags some quests need to be done quickly check your quest log okay uh, I hope he can help me with some machine stuff. We we'll meet again. What is it? If it's nothing, I'll be on my way then. Ah, perfect. Okay. Um, civil recycler, dew collector, or refinery. Ugh. Upgraded recycler turns trash into treasure, straw into gold, etc. Alright, might as well. I don't think that's gonna help, though, unfortunately. got recipes for the machines I need. So if you'll just move a few decimeters to your left, I think you'll find the pathway to the commission board to have become quite clear, allowing a way for me to snag a commission. Ha! No deal. You can't fool me with your mind games, Mian. Okay, I give up. Look at yourself. How long has it been since you finished that big elevator thing? And you're already back in here. At it again! You need to admit that you have a problem, Mian. You're a workaholic! I wouldn't go that far. I mean, I didn't have anything going on today. What else would I do if I didn't pick up a commission? A whole heck of a lot else! I'ma tell ya. Oh, shucks, another one of you! <laughs> Alright, that's it. This is an intervention. I'm taking the two of you out to do something fun. No commissions allowed. Out of the way, Elsie. You're interfering in builder business. Um, I guess. It wouldn't kill me to take one day off. 
Then I am pretty tired. I'm on a deadline. Hey there. I guess we're going somewhere. Want to join us? Of course you're joining us. As I was saying, what you two need is to relax. And what better way to relax than a rigorous and debilitating day of mountain climbing and yakmel wrangling? Uh... uh hey, Elle. That does sound really relaxing, but I... stubbed my toe this morning. Better stay off the mountains for today. <laughs> so, why don't we just stop into the Golden Goose Gaming Center for a little bit instead? Wh huh? G games Oh, but that's kid stuff. Cool, mature adult tap folk like us spend our leisure time running free on the wild frontier and... And? Oh, fine. I guess if y'all really want to, we can go to the game center. But I'm not playing any y'all's kid games, all right? I'm just there to keep you company and make sure you don't relapse. I don't like this. I don't want forced leisure time. I want to get my stuff done. Woohoo! Now let's hurry on over. We'll see you there. Actually, I can't go right now. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. We'll be waiting for you at the game center. Don't take too long now. Okay. You guys have fun. Uh, let's see. I suspect. They don't have machine stuff here, do they? No, this looks like it's... Uh, crap. It's furniture and other basic stuff. Damn it. Okay. How do I get the recipes for these things? Oh, man. How do they expect me to go to the game setter? It's already almost evening. What the heck? commission free city commission complete the order oh I need to make two of these things crap Need a tailoring machine. Make this on a grinder. Oh, crap. Okay, I didn't see recipes for grinders at the thing. Um, can I craft a grinder? Or assemble a grinder? Recycle, drying rack, crane lift. Shoot. They don't give you a whole lot of machines, do they? Greeny, can't stay long, but move in is tomorrow. I'll check and see how long until I can set up internet. Gonna shoot for Saturday even better since Alan Wake 2 comes out on Friday. Awesome. Greeny, that is awesome. Have a fantastic day at work. I will be keeping my fingers crossed for you tomorrow. I hope it all goes really well and you're able to get internet up really quickly. Let me get you shout outs, actually, while I'm thinking about it. Guys, if you do not know Grainy Trainy, he is a fantastic streamer, wonderful friend of the channel, and all-around great guy you should definitely be following. So make sure you go click that link that just popped up at the beginning of your chat, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. Why would they give me commissions for machines that require machines that I don't have yet? Grinding saws. Mini storage box, wooden bookcase. Hmm. Missing diagram, go to the research center to acquire. Intermediate work table, okay. Well, I guess I might as well go to the game center then. I'm kind of blocked. I might regret taking this commission. Because I'm not going to be able to take other commissions until it's either done or abandoned. And that's a lot of money to abandon.
game center was this way, I believe. Oh, I remember that. There's a chest dangling from a rope way up there. I don't remember how you get that down. I don't know if I even ever actually figured it out, now that I think about it. Uh, RVO... Hey, oh, we were what? just about to go in. Ready to get your game on? Actually, hold on. No worries, we'll wait. Where was... what's her name? Oh, she's probably at the museum. Yeah, alright, let's go in. Nice seeing ya. Shh, don't make a sound. Was that the call of the extremely rare bottlenosed prickle toed mirror dog? Oh, wait, no. Tumbleweed. False alarm. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we were just about to go in. Ready to get your game on? Well, here we are. Same old game center. Yawn. Y'all can pick a game to play. I'll watch. I think I've seen folks on these games before. On some, two people can play at the same time. I guess the point is to see who the better... gamer is? Whew, I'm falling asleep listening to myself explain this. I guess it runs in the family. Don't mind her. How about Whack-A-Mole? Let's try that one first. Okay. Controls on this are awkward. I don't think that's because it's on the Switch. I just think this is a weird game that's got a weird control scheme for difficulty's sake. It's not too bad, though. I kind of like that it's life-sized whack-a-mole. Oh. What the heck? That's cheating, man. fair bit of experience at gaming. That was fun. I played that one by myself, but it's even more fun with two people. All right. Uh, where'd Elsie go? Could she have gone inside? Let's check. Probably got bored and left. Flying pigs? Oh, that was too fast. I didn't get to read it. Hey, there you are. Yeehaw! Get wrecked, yo scrub! What the? I lost? Let's go again, you dumb machine! Ah, okay, so she's in denial about her love of gaming. Interesting. Oh, I thought you didn't want to play. Huh? What? Neon? Bug off! Y'all are bad luck! Oh, dang! I'm out of goals. Neon, how come you never told me how great games are? My heart's pounding. My mind is racing. I've never felt so alive. I... Mm. <laughs> Dang. All this pro gaming has worked me up in appetite. Onward, posse. Let's head on over to the blue moon to rustle up some grub. Yeah, come on. Let's go. I really want to get back to my stuff. I don't want to do all this non-work stuff.
Okay, here we are. When in Rome, yes, but this is a town in need of a builder. In Rome, the Romans build. This one's on me, cowpokes. Go ahead, help yourself. But don't just go and order all the most expensive stuff on the menu. I only work part time for my parents. Y'all, hold tight. While you're ordering, I'm gonna go grab a surprise. Don't worry about me, I'll be right back. A surprise? Huh? I wonder what on earth she could be planning. Oh well, let's eat. Ooh, I never know what to eat. There's so many choices. Uh, why don't you decide? All right, we can do that. Tomato with sugar? That... Mm. Pickled black fungus? What? Is this actually tea egg? What kind of food is this? Tomato and egg soup. Date and locust lotus soup. Baked... Oh my god. None of this sounds good. Tomato with sugar is probably about the most appealing. y'all left room in your stomachs for some surprise don't be shy go ahead and open it up gosh Elsie you really had a gift all ready for us you shouldn't have will you do the honors <laughs> okay <laughs> you can eat at the blue moon every day well, Elsie what? I told you I was gonna surprise you. Was I fibbing? I dare y'all to come up with a more interesting gift to give me. I'll be waiting for ya. Well, until then, I bid y'all adieu. That was fun. Until we meet again. See ya. See ya. What did you think of Elsie's surprise? Did it frighten you? No. <laughs> Nerves are still, huh? It's video game food, like that's that. true. Elsie gets me almost every time with her crazy pranks. Well, it was nice to get out today anyway. If you get time, you should take your other friends out too. Maybe warm them up with a few gifts if they don't accept your invitation at first. I think you'll find most people to be more relaxing around. Elsie can be a bit... lively. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd better get back to the workshop. Catch you later. It was fun today. Okay, taking it easy, mission successful. It's bothering me that I don't know how to get the machines I need to continue my work. Mm. Looks like we've got knowledge points. Okay, I've got one point here. Sand fishing knowledge, stamina recovery knowledge. Stamina restored by ordering food increased by 10%. Food recovers 10% more stamina. Um, salvaging and gathering. I think we'll do one point in here. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, okay. Survival knowledge. Maximum hit points increased by 10%. Long range knowledge. Damage increased with long range weapons by 5%. Melee knowledge. I think we're going to do this. I would rather get melee knowledge, but I don't have a long range weapon yet. There we go. Okay, might as well get some sleep.
Greetings, skinny arms. No doubt you've noticed the countless granules of sand being mercilessly tossed about. This is what we in the business call a sandstorm. You don't say. I'm here to inform you, as the protector of Sandrock, that you have no need to be afraid. Okay. We do recommend staying indoors until the sandstorm subsides. But in case you must go outside, the church has this free set of sand gear for you. Isn't it nice? It's delightful. These will help you move around in the sandstorm. But they sure as light won't help you much against the ravenous beasts that come out during the storm. And in case you're wondering why I am not wearing any sand gear, uh, to an experienced hero such as myself, these raging sands are but a gentle massage on my chiseled jawline. Good to know. Well, good chat, skinny arms. Try to remember everything I just said. I'd rather not repeat myself. I saw a crazy big wild yakmo wandering around on the way here, so I'm about to clean it up in a minute. Enjoy your gear. Thank you. Inventory is full. Great. Uh, right. Maybe I should sell some stuff. From Matilda. This sandstorm could not have come at a more inopportune time. I'm afraid we're going to have to postpone Mason's farewell party until weather improves. Please stand by until further notice. From Nia. Hey, Builder. Uh, it feels super weird calling you that. I think I'm just going to stick with Gord. Your ma said you should have arrived by now, but it's so weird. My mailbox is still completely empty. Huh. Was I wrong to have expectations? I'm not forgiving you. So I know you're currently crippled with grief over the abandonment of your bestest friend, but I hope you've managed to overcome that and settle a little, settle in a little in Sandrock. In my head, it's all howdies and guns, but I reckon it's probably much, much more boring than that. I gotta admit, though, it does feel a bit weird without you here. I even went to your house last night. I felt like such a doofus. You remember when we used to play together? We used to get into all sorts of trouble. <laughs> Over in Sandrock, you got your sand bandits. We should have called ourselves the Air Pirates. Speaking of, there's no one to go gliding with me anymore. They banned co-flying recently over health and safety concerns, but that never stopped us before. So when you come and visit, which you have to, we'd be able to sneak out and do it, I bet. I hope you've managed to push through your missing me to be able to make some friends. Not best friends, mind. I'm watching you. How are the people there? All yak boys, right? <laughs> I remember the impression you did of sand rockers before you went. Hilarious, but I hope it's not like that. Those sand bandits sound dangerous. You have got to be careful, okay? I mean, I'm not worried about you or anything. You still owe me 30 goals. My studies have been going really well, by the way. Director Lau told me I have real knack for planting. I told you so. Maybe I should try to be independent like you. I reckon I could go out somewhere in those wild wastes and become a real botanist. I heard they got someone over in Sandrock who's studying how to grow plants in extreme conditions. I know you think that's super boring, but it's actually really cool. I've always told you how similar planting and building is, but I swear you never listen to me. Maybe someday you can show me those legendary desert flowers. Speaking of which, I need to go and take care of my flowers. Remember that orchid I planted before you left? Well, when you come visit, you'll be able to see how much it's grown. It'll be a great reminder for how long you've abandoned me. I'm joking. I miss you. Your friend forever, Nia. Okay, we can reply to this one. Uh, I miss you too. Time flies, right? I can't believe it's been this long since I left. Life here isn't bad. I'm getting used to it already, but I was still really glad to get your letter. How about you? How have you been? From Yan. Rejoice, for the weekend has arrived. No, no, that doesn't mean it's time to slack off. On the contrary, not only will standard commissions be available, but also the time has come for guild inspections. Earn additional reputation points for your workshop by stopping into the Commerce Guild on Saturdays and Sundays to inspect items submitted from all across the Eufaula. Now, I'm not saying it's mandatory or anything, but you'd better be there. P.S. Only two-star or higher-rated workshop owners can participate. If you're not there already, get there. Your friend and manager, Yan. Research Center. The research you commissioned is now complete. The blueprints are enclosed as promised, impeccable, and punctually delivered. Learned Processor. Okay. Um, 
What do I have in my inventory that I can get rid of? Glass bits that look like they might once have been a... Oh, you know what? I can dump stuff in here. That's what I can do. Copper scrap will do. Oh, that is one heck of a big yakmo. Where's my sand gear? That's better. Oh, right. Um... I think what we're going to do is go to the research center. I seem to have five data disks. I'm sure we can put that to some good use. What's up? Civil furnace, civil processor, ore refinery. I don't think I can actually... Oh! Grinder! That's... I freaking need that. Thank you. Can I speed that up? No. Okay. Well, that answers the question of how I get the machine I need to do my job, so there we go. Okay, today is Saturday. I might as well go do the inspection thing, then. Hammer time. Some items have been blown away. Check in the direction the wind is blowing. <laughs> I mean in game. Uh, inspections. Inspections. Up here. Here we go. Oh, need two stars to inspect. Never mind. Sandy? Okay. I don't remember Sandy. I wonder if she's new or if I've just forgotten. I would not put it past me to have forgotten. I don't see the giant Yakmal anymore.
not sure what else I can... Oh, I have an, another skill point, actually. That's a thing we can do. Here we go. Yard knowledge, max stat increase from furniture. Mass production knowledge. Gain 10% more experience from making items on the work table. Might as well get that, because I do a lot of both types of construction. Mini storage box. I don't have enough. No, I can't do either of those. Um... It's not fine. I really like that one brick it done. There we go. Uh, wooden sticks. I guess I can at least try to get some more wood to make those, or how many of them can I actually craft right now? Probably not many. six more. Ugh. I really need storage. Um... Is there anything else I can do? Can I smelt something to make space in my inventory? I could buy more inventory space, I suppose. Two minute warning, guys. We are going to have a break in about two minutes. Nothing else will drop. Lavender, we need Yakthorn. sticks wooden sticks um, but where's the wood that I make them with oh here just 
as a convenient way to keep track of what I've got where. Oh, you can get wood from the stone piles? That's interesting. Dead wood. I need to upgrade my axe. Interesting. What's down there? Destination: a newer, better you. What? Okay, what is this sign about? Firework warning? Interesting. Oh, ads are underway. I will be back in just a few minutes, folks. I didn't catch the rest of it. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that was so close. Oh my god. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh god, the donkey. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a disaster. It's <laughs> 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 oh. the agreed upon amount. I expect you to faithfully carry out my request to teach a lesson to the thief Una. You need not kill her, but I have no qualms about it if you deem it necessary. Holda! Holda! I feel so betrayed. That was my cheese, Halda. Oh my god. That has to be a reference. That must be a reference. There's no way that's not a reference. Strog jog rog. Um. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. Oh my... 
Well. <laughs> Spotted. Gotta move. Okay, I am back. Skull gun? I don't know what you mean, Guardian. How are you doing, by the way? It's good to see you. Okay. So far, so good. Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. Um, yeah, Thorin, there we go. Level 9 Thorny Jump. No, no, get out of here. Ready Player One? It's been a while since I read that. Ah, no, back. Stop that. Sandflower. Learned about Sandflower. Ooh, they give dew and a bunch of wood. Excellent. Oh, thank you, Med. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I should probably reread those one of these days. And I need to reread, or actually, I, I never read the sequel. I need to do that. How are you doing, Matt? What's going on today? I hope you're doing well. We are just checking out some Nintendo Switch version of My Time at Sandrock. Enjoyed the movie? Will I enjoy the book? The book is far better than the movie. Which is not to say the movie's bad. The movie is just very different. So, I would say... There's a good chance. Oh, it's always been true. That's not a new thing at all. It's always been the case. Today's one of those days I'd love to be turn in my resignation, but then I realize I'd like having a paycheck. Yeah, that's fair. You liked Ender's Game, the original book, and despised the movie? I still haven't actually seen the movie. Which is unusual, because I generally like to watch anything that Harrison Ford is in. Absolute dog crap compared to the books you warn against watching it. Yeah, I should probably let you know, though. I'm one of those people. If you warn me against watching something, you increase the chances that I'm going to watch it infinitely because now I'm curious about why you are so insistent. Learned about Desert Mushroom.
Like the best way you can possibly get me to watch something is by telling me in no uncertain terms that there's no way I should ever allow myself to watch it. It's by far the best possible way. Uh, okay. It's... Recycler, no fuel. I'm going to keep some of that stuff for myself. We have a new machine coming soon. So let's let that get going. Oh, shoot. I can't pick up everything. Um... Should not have dropped that. Okay, well... Whatever, it'll be fine. I'm gonna leave that uncollected. Inventory is full. What time is it? Almost 8 o'clock. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Hopefully, the stuff won't blow away. It's gonna blow away. You have the same problem with games? I have an easier time not playing games just because I've got so many other games that even if I wanted to play it, I probably wouldn't have the time. Time zones are a thing, also in-game time. But uh, 20 is 8. 20 o'clock is 8 o'clock. last night was terrifying. I didn't sleep a wink. How are you holding up? It was nothing. Really? Wow, you must be super brave. Hopefully I'll handle it better next time. Anyway, I was walking around town earlier looking at the damage and ran into Matilda. She Come on, she's waiting. The show must go on. All right. This is where we have to rebuild the stage and we're also going to have to find the big blue moon saloon sign which I believe is somewhere up there 24 hour clocks are the proper and original I wager time frame mm. I like 12 hour 12 hour is pretty standard here oh, my beautiful stage now now at least no one was harmed we can always rebuild Say, speak of the devil. If it isn't our resident builders here to save the day. We are in a real jam here. We wanted to do a stage performance for Mason's going away ceremony, but now the plan's in shambles. Would you two be dears and find a way to fix this thing up? I don't doubt you'll be up to your eyeballs and other commissions, but whenever the stage is fixed, we can reschedule that ceremony. So I'm afraid I must insist on an official town request of the highest priority. Heidi, dear, can you draw up a new design? It's easier when it's 24 hour. I was sort of expecting Nothing wrong with using 24 hour if you prefer it. So I already designed a new one. Here's the diagram builders. Oh my, that's great. Why don't you builders decide on which part you want to do? What part did I do last time? You pick first. I'm fine with either. Stage backdrop or stage support? I think I did the backdrop, so let's do the support. All right, you two. Let me know how it goes. Good luck, and thanks again. By the way, if you guys need it, you can go ahead and salvage this here stage. Stagey would have wanted it that way. Learn stage support, learn stage backdrop, save successful. 
Oh, I, I need an upgraded tool for that. Interesting. Research Center. The research you commissioned is now complete. The blueprints were enclosed as promised, impeccable, and punctually delivered. Thank you very much. Ma's reply. Aha, I knew you'd need them. Don't worry, your pa and I already sent them first class. They might even arrive before this letter. From Nia. I don't know if you already have this, but I think you could use it. Okay. Well, that little bag there didn't blow away. That's a very good thing. Let's see if I can dump some inventory into crafting the... Where is it? I need the grinder. I could also build a processor. So, bearing, bronze bars, bricks, stone. One more bearing. Shoot. Okay. If a machine gathers up too much sand, its efficiency will be halved. Use a feather duster to clean up the sand. Ooh boy. All right. up a little bit of inventory space so I've got some glass Sims games has a going or sim games sorry mispronouncing names here uh, okay how do I get a feather duster oh wait drags that's what I can do some of my material into the recycler. That'll let me pick up some more stuff. So let's do the stone scrap. That gives me a couple of spaces. Then I can get the letter from Nia. Picture frame. Okay. Maybe I can hang that up so it doesn't clutter my inventory. How are you doing, Sim Games? I hope you're doing well today. Uh, let's see. Can I not put that there, but here? There we go. Replace photo. Oh, I don't have a camera yet. That would be a problem. Alright, we're gonna go up to the workshop. I might need to rebuy my pass, I'm not certain. But we're gonna go there and we're gonna see if we can get some more stuff that's useful. Really good, it's gonna be warm for a few more days. Yeah, I, <laughs> I noticed it's similar here. It's gone way up in temperature again. And I'm not terribly happy about it. I like the cold weather. Oh, 
Oh, I guess we could go down here too. Hey there. Ready to do some diving? The show must go on, but it sure isn't going anywhere until the two of us get what we need to build that stage. Okay. Say, if you don't mind me asking, how deep have you dived into the abandoned ruins? I haven't. Yeah, you know. The abandoned ruins isn't just a single layer. If you follow your scanner, you can find deeper areas within the ruins. That's where all the good stuff is, since they're less disturbed by other divers. Okay. Well, all I know for now is that we're going to have to go pretty deep with this commission. Hope you brought some snacks. <laughs> Maybe see you inside? Later. That's another way I can free up space. I can eat stuff. Here in Toronto, no, you don't live too far away, hence why I mentioned it. Yeah. More rubber scrap, more data disks. Okay, I'm gonna have to run back and probably add more rubber scrap into my recycler. I probably shouldn't do the mixed scrap stuff. Calling for a slight chance of snow on Sunday, low of 24. That's awfully warm for snow. Oh, wait. You're talking Fahrenheit, aren't you? Okay. my inventory. I'm gonna want this probably here. I must have other food stuff too. They keep throwing inventory crap at me. Cactus fruit. Okay, so I've got a few things I can do. Mechanical and copper scrap, that's good. You might get stuff. Upgrade device. do it. Okay. Let's just enter. Usually do because of several UK and Canadian streamers you watch. Yeah. That's okay. I got it from context. Uh, okay. How do we... Um, there we go. Copper ore. Very nice. Lots of copper now. We should be able to get some stuff. Oh, data disk. Lovely. Dinas. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get too far today. I'm running out of stamina pretty quickly. But I'm getting a lot of really good stuff, so that's okay. for health, not stamina. Crap. I think that might be good for now. Might have to be good for now. Power stones. The inventory's not full. What the heck do you mean? Sand carp from fishing spots. What's this? Bricks. Let's not lose those. Jerk. Oh, that's 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 stamina food. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't get that until I upgrade. Okay, we're gonna go back. That's some good material for upgrading, I think. Bending machine? I don't know what we're bet. Uh, actually, does it give me descriptions? Oh, it's doing that thing where it doesn't give me descriptions again. I would restart to fix that, but I actually have to end stream pretty soon here. I'm gonna wrap up uh, in about maybe five or ten minutes or so or six o'clock and then I will be back possibly tomorrow with more city skylines maybe spider-man I'm kind of 50 50 on which one we're gonna do next but if not tomorrow if I'm smart and I take my day off then I will certainly be back on Friday stage. I don't want to go to the stage. I want to go home. Although, I do want to go past the stage and visit the science center. I need to give more data disks to Key so that I can get more machines and enhance my capabilities. Research. Okay, so I can do the dew collector, the ore refinery, which might be a really good one to get, actually. A machine that can sort fine stones from raw stones and will sometimes provide rare gemstones in the process. Prerequisite recycler. Welcome, Atzeb. Yes, this is the Switch version. I'm having a really good time with it. I have played it in early access on PC before. The Switch does show the limitations of the hardware. There are some serious pop-ins going on. Uh, some of the animations are not smooth at all. 
but that does not stop it from being an amazingly fun game. So I would still recommend it as long as you know what you're in for. It's really, really good. I do really love this series. The uh, My Time series is one of my favorite chill games out there. It gives kind of that, you know, the Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley kind of vibe. Only instead of being a farmer, you're a builder, which I really like because winter's not a dead time where you have nothing to do for a really long time. Uh, November 2nd, 2023? Oh, is it not officially out yet? I guess that makes sense. Regional differences? No, it's uh, probably early access. There was kind of a light embargo. I, I got a key from the developer and their PR people, so I might actually have it early here. I believe I do have it a bit early. Okay, so we've got lots of dregs. I really need to get a feather duster. Where would I get one of those? Yes, you were, Guardian. You had exactly the same job. That's why I liked Portia so much as well. I really like that you basically build up from a simple little workshop to this whole big factory setup with automation and I really like the fact, like, I love the farming games, but I hate that winter is always just this boring period of monotony because there's really not much you can do. I love the fact that being a builder instead really lets you just keep active all year. And it also has the additional benefit that I, I assume this game is going to be the same. But in Portia, you really had a significant impact on the like the skyline of the area you lived in, you made major significant changes to the town that you could see and that it would have a real impact on things around you. You had a real effect on the world. And I really, really like that. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of that happen in Sandrock as well. No, uh, I'm having a good time with it on Switch. Like I said, you do need to be aware of the technical limitations it is, it does suffer from some pop-in. You know, the Switch is just not the most powerful console out there. So performance is not gonna be as good as you would get on say PC, but it's still really fun. And the nice thing about the Switch is of course, you can pick it up and you can just you know, play with it in bed or on the couch or, you know, wherever you are. So you've got it on the go and it's gonna be really, really great for that. Okay, so what was I looking for? Recy oh no, we already did the Recycle Center. I was just going back now, I guess. So I still need more wooden sticks. I need copper screws. I need rough cloth. And I have to try and build that thing. So what's this I've got going here? That looks like my grinder. I need a bearing. So let's put in some mechanical scrap. There's a good chance I will end up getting my bearing from that. So we'll need a few minutes for that. Uh, oh, this is still working on rubber scrap, okay. And my inventory's full again. Crap. Here, let me see if I can get some stuff. Can I make more wood? Okay, wooden sticks. And bronze bars. So that's gonna be a furnace. Oh shoot, what's the other thing I need here? Oh crap, I need another material and I, I'm not certain what it is. And it's doing, yeah, it's doing that thing where I don't get descriptions. That's one bug that I hope they do fix. I find that after I played for a while, 
there is a uh, command where you push in one of the joy cons you know press in the left stick to get descriptions of the things that you're pointing over so that you know what's what and that stops working that's kind of annoying but that's really the worst thing that i found in this version so far and hopefully they can get that fixed okay let's what can i do for the next couple minutes Let's see if I've got anything I can just maybe get rid of or abandon or eat or something. Maybe I can actually, you know what? Instead of abandoning, why don't I just see if I can go sell a few things? Okay, Commerce Guild. Luckily, they're still open. So, what is this? I don't know, but I'm going to sell it because that's only one thing and I can get some space for that. Uh, I would like to keep my daggers. I can sell these bottles. You don't have enough of this to s Oh, okay, four for one coin, wow. All right, so I'll keep hold of that. I can get rid of those. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't actually know what I'm selling because you see how it says at the bottom there, press in the left stick. That, what? Well, okay, that's actually pretty cool. I did not realize I could sort stuff. I like that. But I'm not getting any kind of, you know, the equivalent of a tool tip. But that's all right. I've got inventory space now, so we're fine. So with a little luck, maybe they can track that down and fix it. But I found restarting the game, just going out to the main menu of the Switch, shutting it down and restarting, that fixed it up. Now, because it is the Switch, it takes a little bit to load up, so it's not ideal. Especially on stream, but, you know, you just do what you can. Okay, and I'm tempted to just make a whole ton of bricks. Maybe I will, actually. I'll just make, like, I guess six is not really a ton, but it's, I'm going to need them for sure. Uh, okay, we still have wait time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up further. I'm going to go to the general store and see if that's open. And if it is, I'm going to hope that they've got a feather duster. Because I'm going to need that to clean off the sand after the sandstorm that's on all my machines and making them a lot less efficient. Because I don't think I'm actually capable of building a feather duster at the moment. Though I'm sure that won't be a problem to learn at some point. Oh, recycler ran out of fuel. See? It's, ah, crap. Okay. It's getting too late. We're getting almost to midnight. Probably time for the character to go to bed. And that's actually perfect timing because it's just about six o'clock. We should probably find somebody to go raid in just a moment. Okay. 
Furnace, no fuel, that's fine. We can fix that. But that's a really good point to stop at, I think. So thank you guys so much for hanging out today and taking a look at this version of the game with me. It was a lot of fun. I do think if I continue to play the game, though, and I will because I really like the series and I want to see what happens in Sandrock, I might load up the PC version, see if I can catch up to where we are on the Switch version, and then just go from there because the PC version will have better performance and whatnot. But if you are looking for a game of this nature on the Switch, it is an easy recommend. It's really good. Thanks for the stream and hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Sim. Looking forward to next time. Thank you. I really appreciate that, Sim Games. That means a lot. Let me see who we've got live that we can go check out today. Catch you next time. Thank you, Jarek. Let's see. Okay. Looks like A Burnt is on. He's doing some just chatting. Laxative Legacy is playing Diablo 4. Metwick is playing Starfield. Uh, who else do we have? Kismet is on, playing Fallout 76. The Hunter Wild is playing some City Skylines 2. Actually, wouldn't mind hanging out with that. It's been a while since we've raided Hunter. And I do love me some cities. I'd love to see what he's learned so far in playing it. Hecky is on. Uh, I don't know what she's going to be playing. She's not playing anything just yet. Her title says first playthrough, but does not actually reveal what the game is going to be. Luality is playing Alan Wake Remastered, so she must have a preview copy of it. And that looks like that's about it for today. I think we're going to go with Hunter. It's been a while since we've raided Hunter. Let's go see how Hunter's dealing with City Skylines. I'm also curious how his experience of the game has been, what with the, you know, the internet blowing up with rage about the supposed performance issues in the game. Sounds like a good choice. Excellent. So let me get you Hunter's link. The Hunter... Wild, there we go. And I will get you the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Shh, it's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. Oh wow. He is practicing his highway interchanges, it looks like, and they're looking pretty cool. I like what he's getting up to. Uh, yeah, so, um... Catfish wins is oh here, my God, bringing Catfish. seven brave raiders. I You're absolutely support any scientific like effort to, to create an us? invisibility cloak. I just want to make myself clear. Oh my God. Catfish, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. I really appreciate that, but I have to get going. It's so good to see you. How was the rest of your stream yesterday? How was your birthday? Everybody, wish Catfish wins a belated happy birthday because we raided the other day for his uh, birthday stream. And he's a really fantastic guy, really good supporter of the stream and a really great streamer himself. Uh, let me get you shouts out on our way out. I'm so sorry I can't stick around, but it's really good to see you. I hope you're doing well. No problem, man. Uh, oh, Sea of Thieves, you're still playing that. How? I actually didn't get a chance to ask you the other day. Were you doing any of the Monkey Island content? Do they still have the Monkey Island content? I really want to do that uh, content for Sea of Thieves at some point. It's been a long time since I've played, but I'm a big Monkey Island fan, and it's a natural, perfect fit for Sea of Thieves, so the combination is just too good. You're with the Catfish Rain... Uh, welcome on in, Bionic Llama. I actually recognize your name. I think I've seen you around before. It left me behind, so you followed. That's awesome. I uh, hope the stream was good. It's been really good. We were checking out my time at Sandrock on the Nintendo Switch. I have a preview copy of it from the developers and their PR folks, so big thanks to them for that. And we were checking it out. There are some performance issues on that one. Uh, you know, there's some pop-in and stuff like that. Overall, though, really, really fun. And if you like that kind of game and you're looking for the freedom that the Switch offers to play it just about anywhere, really solid choice, I would say. 
Uh, you've been here before. Yeah, I thought so. Your name looks really familiar. So we are going to raid the Hunter Wild. He's a friend of mine who is playing some City Skylines too. So if you guys would like to join in, you are more than welcome to come with the raid. I was just giving you guys the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Shh, it's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote, the wave emote of the channel. If you're a sub, if you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the tomb raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote that's fun and appropriate for a raid. If you've got emotes of your own or maybe from another streamer, even from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It's all going to be good in my book. So we are going to go visit the Hunter Wild and check out his city. It looks like he's practicing, like I said, with his... Uh, highway interchange construction skills in the new in the new game so i would like to go over and give him some support and see how he's doing with the game and maybe pick up on some of what he's learned from it and see you know kind of compare notes so i will see you guys over there i will be there's a decent chance i will be back tomorrow night i might do a bonus stream i'm gonna try to be good and actually take my day off when i have the opportunity though so if it's not tomorrow night i will be back friday afternoon so have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night day evening where whatever it is where you are in the world and i will catch you again really soon bye folks <laughs>